would say, how many folks would you say was here, people? Seven, 8,000, I would say. We've got a great crowd here. Colin Barber will kick off here for the Kentucky All-Stars here in Lexington, Kentucky. Gary Wilson, Steve Lindsay, and Bill Haney here to bring you the action here this afternoon and tonight. Here from Lexington, Kentucky, Commonwealth Stadium. Good crowd, good weather, great field in perfect condition. This is a renovated Commonwealth Stadium. It looks really good. Jabbar Greer stands back deep to receive the kick. Here, Colin Barber approaches, ball kick downfield. He takes it in the end zone, runs it, and he's back in the end zone. Of course, I guess they're doing high school rules, and when you catch it back there, you got to stay back there, right? A fine kick there by Colin Barber, place kicker signed with the University of Syracuse from Lexington Catholic High School. They're set to go. You're going to see four wideouts immediately here for the Tennessee offensive team, as we've been told, starting this ball game. And we didn't get to tell you the head coach is John Alley of Tullahoma, Jeff Marshall, Milan High is his assistant head coach. And we'll get the rest in just a moment. The, the wideouts, two to each side, slot, double slot, both sides. Lone set back is Gerald Turner, quarterback Mark Nunder, rolls back, sets up, looks downfield, fires it downfield, got a man wide open up on the 45, and he's tackled immediately. Wide open up there was number 10, Antonio Carter. He found the crease. Right now, that looks like they're going to try to stretch him right there. Bill, we're going to take two guys down the seam, take them out and hit them in the seam. Use the quickness. It's first down and 10 yards to go for the Tennessee All-Star team. They move the ball up to the 46-yard line. It was a 26-yard pass play completed from the fine quarterback of Will Martin to Antonio Carter. Tackled by Neil Warren. I tell you what, the free safety had to come up and make the play after he split the zone there. Did Will Martin on the long setback, double slots. Will looks over the 4-3, which you have to use on the defensive front. Rolling right, looking, keeps looking downfield, rolling out. Van Ball fell, and it was tipped, I believe, over there by a defensive player of Kentucky. It looked like Robert Reynolds. Robert Reynolds, the signee with Ohio State University, a big linebacker, about 6'2", about 225, got in the flow and deflected the pass. You can see the offensive capabilities of Will Martin and his and looseness, he's a real good man. He rolled out there, and he tried to uh, set his foot to throw, but it was tipped and tipped away. He's good gonna defense. Put, he's going to put the pressure on the defense. With it now, the slot. They have four wideouts, as we told you earlier. Jabari Greer splits, Greer splits out wide to the left side. Lone set back is Gerald Turner back there. Will Martin, there's a man in motion. Antonio Carter, straight dive play up the middle as Gerald Turner runs it to the 50-yard line. Good, tough, hard-nosed defense inside. Looked like a tackle by number 52 for the uh, Lexton uh, Kentucky All-Stars. Mike Taylor on the tackle, defensive tackle, 6'2", 280. You're talking about big folks. Both of these teams have got them here. you got the best of both states. Well, the, in the paper, the Lexton, uh, Lexton Herald here said that the where's the beef? <laughs> and Kentucky's got, got it. they got 15 like, big, huge Some big linemen. kids. Third down and seven yards to go. The ball's on the midfield stripe. Ball in possession of Tennessee. They're on the move with four wideouts. They move from the own 20 to this point when the first quarterback's with 10-23 to play. Oop, man upside. They pulled him in the offside. Number 81 jumped a little bit too quick, folks. Ed Robson got in there. Both ends, 87 and 81, got into the neutral zone. I guess the snap count, he must have changed on them, and, and he, it was a quick count, I guess, and they came in a hurry. That's come out of the shoot, didn't they? Steve, that's something that's hard to work on this quick. No longer than they've probably been in camp. To, that's See, whatever. You know, if it's early in the ball game, they're jumping. You know, and I imagine he gave a hard count. That makes this uh, third and one. Makes you guess a little bit on defense. Move the ball to the 45-yard line into Kentucky territory. A lot, a lot of higher percentage. Third and one than third and six. Yes. I'd like my chances. <laughs> With Gerald Turner back there, I don't do you think they'll use him right now? With the one yard, let's see what they do. Well, they're going to go back and reset, set the the, clock. reset the clock and go again. That thing is down to one second. We need to tell the folks that the rules here, as far as defense, you can only use a 4-3 defense. And variations off of that, and sometimes they know in these all-star games they do cheat a little bit, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Four wide oh. out, straight dive play up the middle. Did he make it? I don't know what he made it. Like. I believe he's short right there. He fumbled the football, and it went down. He picked it up, went to his knees to yeah. pick it up, and it cost him. 
Well, this right here is Austin a yard. That was a big defensive play. Did he? Did they recover the fumble? No, no they he, didn't recover the fumble. They did not make it. They lost a yard on the play. They're going to punt the ball away here. Tell you what, this boy right here is a fine punter, though. I take my chance to try to pin him back, make him go 90 yards for a score. Back to receive the kick will be Leon Mack. He'll stand back on the 10, back to punt it. Will be Cody Ridgeway. He can put a toe in it. He's from Jackson Central Mary, Jackson, Tennessee. He can boot that thing. Average over 41 yards a kick on about 50 punts this past season for JCM. There's some time in call. What is happening? Tennessee here? with only 10 players on the field, short one player. That's what we were. That's something. Special now teams. We, <laughs> now we got them on there. Had to call timeout to do it. Oh. And now we got a quick timeout. And water is coming on the field. It's hot, humid up here in Lexington, Kentucky. Let's take a 30 second local break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. Well, that's a heartbreaker right there. That oh, yeah, first it. down. He's lucky. He was lucky to cover the ball. Well, I mean, you got third down one, you got the hose right there. But look what they're trying to do. They're trying to cover a spot. In for Kentucky, J.T. Haskins and Leon Mack. We're ready to go. We're back here at the Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky. Tennessee, Kentucky All-Star Game. Ridgeway back to punish. Stands on this 42. Gets a high spiraling kick away. Nobody called for a fair catch. That ball made the big die on the five-yard line. It went out of bounds. Beautiful kick by Cody Ridgeway. How about that, folks? That's what I'm talking about, Bill. You pin him back. He's on the six-yard line. You got to go 94 yards for a score. That's yeah. big in a ball game. You see the ball just kind of take a little bounce toward the sideline, and when he hit on the five, just kind of like it eyes. <laughs> okay, there's the beef, boys. Look at the offensive line that Kentucky's put out there. First down and 10 to go for Kentucky on the own. Well, they, where did they finally spot the football? Five-yard line or six-yard line? Six six. line? On the six-yard line where they finally went out of bounds. First down and 10 to go for Kentucky as the quarterback leads them out. Tell you what, Gary, this, this Tennessee's not real small up front either. No, but Kentucky's offensive tackles are... 6'5", 300, and 6'4", 302, Matt Huff and Josh Jakers. Shane Boyd, the quarterback, will start off here this afternoon for Kentucky. He's got one to back him up, Travis Atwell, 6'2", 190, so they got some big guys at quarterback just as Tennessee has. Bill Atwell's the Mr. Kentucky football player of the year. Yep. I told you, Kentucky's got some good ball players, got some size out there. Tennessee the same way. This is going to be a corker, y'all. This what they call a slobber knocker. We got a two-man backfield with a wide out to the left side and a flanker to the right side here for Kentucky. So they spread in the field with two setbacks. Quarterback under Boyd. Boyd looks over a four-man front. Nicely, 4-3 defense they have to use. He hands it, hands it off when he reverse, comes the other way, tries to get by one, does get by one. He's going to go down the left sideline. Yeah. Got away from one man. They got a hold of him, knocked him down on the far side, but he got the first down, got it to the 40-yard line for Tennessee. He could bring him down. That's a fine run. That was number 15, Nick Dunlap from Milan making the tackle, getting him out of bounds. Sean Payne it was. He what, if Dunlap wasn't there, uh, Kentucky would be ahead six to nothing. You're Memphis. right. Dunlap got a hand on him just enough to knock him out of bounds, and Nick Dunlap was jutting on the spot where he needed to be, coming safe from his safety spot. A lot of speed there for number 16, Haskins. First down and 10 to go. The ball's on the 37-yard line of Kentucky. Quarterback under Boyd. Boyd looks over the situation. Hands off. First man through. Die play right across the middle to the 40-yard line as he unstock him. Good interior defense that time. Well, that was a tackle by number 89, Robert Dimwitty from uh, Hendersonville High School. Going to go to Vanderbilt. Makes it second down. Eight yards to go. The ball's on the own 40-yard line of Kentucky. Looks like Kentucky's rotating their quarterbacks, Bill. Shane Boyd, they said they would do that. Travis Atwell and Shane Boyd are rotating in and out there. The one will be in, then the other. I believe they got number 10 back in there. Boyd is back in at quarterback now with a slot to the right side, split right in. Two men back fill as Boyd looks over the Tennessee defense. Quick pitch back to the tailback. Tries to cut. Good, good penetration getting inside, coming, hopping out of there was a Tennessee player, 81. Was, who was that? I believe that's Jason, Jason Whitty, 91. Jason Whitty. 6'7", 270. They did, Tennessee did a good job. Uh, they got in an unbalanced line right there. That's a pretty good job adjusting to that early in the ball game. Jason Whitten, who's going to University of Tennessee, and I understand his brother, Sean, went over to Virginia Tech, but I was told by a guy at the radio station, Elizabeth, that uh, Sean was at Tennessee now, too. Who knows? 
They have two brothers playing there. Third down and nine to go. Ball on the 39-yard line of Kentucky. Quick out pattern. Not hit once, hit twice, got away, and had to go out of bounds on the front. That was a great run there by folks, by Leon Mack of Kentucky. They had him back for, uh, for way back before he got to the first down, but he kept on running hard and got the first down. That was a good job of running. That was number three, Barton Simmons from Tennessee, going to be oh. going to Yale. Nice he out of bounds. Stepped out of bounds before he got the first down. A half a yard, fourth down, a half yard to go. Ball's on the 46-yard line. Of Kentucky, they say go for it. What is the crowd saying across the way? Got a good crowd across the way. Nothing to lose here. At least 10,000 people here, folks. That's what it was at Knoxville last year. Flanker right, split left in. Two men backfield. Quarterback under is at will this time. Oh, no, he's his boy. No, he's boy. He called time. He tried to draw him offside. Did not work. And we got time out on the field. Well, we got time out on the field. Let's hear this. We plan a lot of things in our lives like what we'll cook for dinner, how to get to that special fishing pool, or where we'll go on vacation. It's common sense. Figure out what we want to do, and then how to do it. Unfortunately, we don't plan as well for our financial future. Sure, we all have financial goals, a comfortable living for our family, home ownership, advanced education for our children, financial security when we retire. Many people, however, never reach their financial goals, no matter how hard they work, because they don't have a reasonable plan. That's where we can help, with a new service from American General Life and Accident Insurance Company called A Plan for Life, an exciting new system to help set your family's financial goals and develop a system. It's a free service from American General Life. Back at the Commonwealth Stadium, no score in the game in the first quarter of action here. Bill Haney, Gear Wilkes, and Steve Lindsay along with you. Standing back deep to receive the kick for Tennessee is who, Steve? Uh, number one is Jabari Greer. I can't tell who the other young man is back there just with him. Nice spiraling kick. Wasn't too high. Picked up there by Jabari Greer. Cuts to the right side. Got a blocker. Hit, tries to hit the corner. And they finally downed him on the far side of the field. About the 17, Jabari was trying to get the wall set over there. Steve and couldn't quite get to it. Tackle but, on that kick by number 37, Jeremy Collette from... Uh, uh, Bell County High School attending Georgetown University. I tell you what, I'd hate to know I had to defend that boy uh, every day because I tell you, he's he's got a he's got a jet on his back. He got that extra gear, hasn't he? Yeah, he does. If he could got to that other step over there, he'd been going down that sideline. Oh, he's a he's a good one. Seven nineteen to play, first quarter of action, no score in this ball game as quarterback leads him out for Tennessee, and it's Will Martin once again under there. And uh, quick one over to Gerald Turner. Turner with a long setback, keeps running, and they finally brings two or three to bring him down. They had to hammer him down to the ground. That was Turner running. I and think that's Leonard Burris. That is, that's Leonard, Leonard Burris out of uh, yeah, Leonard Leonard school going to attend the University of Kentucky running yeah. the ball then. I thought that was Turner still had Turner in there, but evidently not. I tell, you, I tell you what. I can see why Tennessee's people do the broadcast and UT football games have a complaint because these jerseys are hard to pick up on the orange and white. They certainly are because I thought that was Turner that time. It is now second down and eight yards to go. Quarterback Will Martin, man in motion, slot right side, Tennessee. Hands off, quick one off tackle, nowhere, nothing doing there. Oh, a little extracurricular activity. Flag goes down, two of them wrapped up each other, and uh, official gets over, separates them. I told you, this game, hey, <laughs> these kids, kids want to win this ball game, y'all. Oh, hey, 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 bragging rights. Bragging you rights. mighty right. Let me tell you, he got plastered by Robert Reynolds, linebacker, 6'4", 220, attending Ohio State University. This fall. He's got to be a good one if he's going to go up there and play with the Buckeyes. He's out of Bowling Green High School, and I'll tell you what, they say he can hit a lick, and we just watched him right there. And it was, well, I believe it wasn't, it was between them, it was between two others blocking situation there. I'll set him foul so they didn't Tennessee, take the easy one. Tennessee, I think, has gone away from their four wides right here. I think they brought in a young man out of uh, Memphis Fairly at tied in. Going to a Third tight end set. Third down in seven, six, 21 to play. First quarter, no score here. Tennessee needs to. Get out of that hole. They're down the own 21-yard line. Slot to the left side. Two wideouts. Mm. 
quarterback rolling. They're going to try to bring him down. And she got away from one, spins away from another, keeps on digging. <laughs> they bury him back there. Will Martin could not escape his escapability that time. They hemmed him in and knocked him down. A lot of defense being played, folks. They're playing a lot of defense. I believe they had a miss out in the backfield. I believe either the back or the quarterback went the wrong way. Right there. The running back probably went the wrong way. Tackle made by Josh Blakely, 64, 290 pound defensive lineman. As you guys said early in the broadcast, it's hard to get the, you know, the techniques and the timing down in the five days that you have to work on this. Fourth down, about 21 yards to go for the first down. Tennessee going to punt out the owns in. Uh, Cody Ridgeway now needs a big one. High spiraling job. It's way up there. May bring rain. It caught on the 40. Didn't call for a fair catch. Got a block when he caught the ball, but they come over and cover in a hurry and knocked him down. He got about a four yard return to the 36 yard line, but good right now. Good field position. That's the name of the game, Steve. That's very good right there. I tell you, that boy took a risk on uh, fielding that ball right there. That's a high punt. And I tell you, this JT Haskins for Kentucky is a very talented young man. He's got a lot of speed and a lot of quickness. First down and 10 to go for Kentucky All-Stars, and they're down in Tennessee territory in good field position on the 36. 523 to play. First quarter of action, no score here. Excellent crowd for this afternoon, and what a day to watch it, folks. It's beautiful here in Lexington, Kentucky. Two wide outs, two-man backfield. Quarterback Keefe, he's going to roll right, looks downfield. Got a man open down there, looking, looking, looking. Keefe throwing. He got a man wide over. Somebody fell down, defender, and trying to go in the end zone with the ball. Did he get there? Did he get there? The no. official says no. He's out on the one-yard line. Of course, the Kentucky players are there with their arms up, straight, saying touchdown, but he stepped out on the one-half-yard line. Does a good job out of the quarterback, doing a good job of faking there on the bootleg. You see the defensive man fall down for Tennessee, couldn't get to him. He went, Tennessee lost containment. They're in, lost containment. Yep. Let him get outside, and he found and he held it long enough to get the receiver. Got open. Never got any pressure on him. First down and goal to go for Kentucky. They're down knocking the door with 5-10 to go in the first quarter of action. Quarterback under is Shane Boyd. Boyd with a sneak Man. up the middle for the touchdown. Did the hands go up? Yes, they did. Kentucky leads six nothing in this ball game. Big plays. Park, Kentucky. Big plays. I tell you, they looked awful strong. Kentucky looked awful strong up front. Then just gave a great big push. They knocked Tennessee's up front people off the ball a couple yards there. They looked awful strong. Who controls that line of scrimmage? Most of the time controls the game, right? One way or the other. And attempting the extra point here will be Sean Payne, Mark Kentucky, out of the hole of Neil Warren of Kentucky. Waiting for the snap. Payne. Ball placed down, kick up, kick is good. It's a 7 nothing ball game. We're in the first quarter play. Kentucky leads. Let's take a 60-second break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. Sean Payne. Colin Barber would kick off. Sean Payne would kick the extra points. Is that uh, Jabari back there? That's no. uh, number, That's the Burgess boy from uh, out of Trezant. He's gone Kentucky. What number is he? 10? That's 20. 20. Leonard Bur Burgess. Burris. 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 Leonard Burris. Trezant High School. We're back here in Lexington, Kentucky, Commonwealth Stadium. Kicking off will be Sean Payne. The ball is kicked down for a low line drive kick taken by the man on the 10 yard line up to the 15, up to the 20, cross the 20 to the 25, and they've downed him and broke through the blocking, knocked him down, and held back to the 22. And that may be where as far as progress goes, folks. Tell you what, he was slammed by Derek Shelton, 6'3, 190 pound corner from LaRue County High School. Slam pretty good. I think 22 was one. And Tony and Antoine Thomason was a man up man that had caught the ball and got it back to about the 22 12 yard kick return. First down and 10 to go for Tennessee All Stars, trailing by seven with 4.59 to play in the first quarter. 
new quarterback in the game, Bill Shane Kelly, uh, six foot, 175 pound quarterback from Sevier County High School. He really impressed me in the 5A state finals last year when Sevier County won the Tennessee State Championship. Once again, Tennessee was spread them out. Jabari Greer ride right to the left, slot left, flanker right, two men backfill this time, straight back. That was a in the shotgun. As a pass downfield, gained about five yards. It hit that short man. It was a sideline pattern. He caught it and knocked him out of bounds I after about a four-yard pickup. I believe we got a flag here. We got a holding penalty against Tennessee. Going to bring it back. Two what, Gary? I'm about like you. I watched this uh, Kelly kid up here against Murfreesboro Oakland in the semifinals. I'm, I'm really impressed with him. I think he's a fine player. Carson Newman's got a good one in him. I tell you what, uh, there's some colleges – Missed up just because of his height, six foot, uh, missed up on a fine quarterback, I believe. He's very talented. Going to be some penalty stepped off here against Tennessee on the holding penalty. It's going to go back and move it back to the 10 yard line. It's going to be first down and about 20 yards to go for Tennessee. They're back with their backs to the door, uh, side left, back to the end zone again here with 452 to play, trailing by seven. Uh, Tennessee's got bad field position here now with the uh, penalty making it first down and 22 to go. Mm. Shane Kelly, the quarterback, slot to the left, split out wide on the right side. Our left side for Tennessee. There's a quick handoff up the middle, and the man was hit. He squirted through, got some good yards, moved it up to the 15-yard line. I thought he might be gone. Was that what, was that uh, Cody? Who was that caught running? That was the quarterback, Shane Kelly. Yeah. The quarterback draw with no backs in the backfield, Bill. <laughs> we didn't have any backs back there. They got they a penalty, though. We had movement. Had some more movement, going to have another penalty flag there. Illegal, Illegal procedure. Somebody moved on that offensive line. Well, we're shooting ourselves in the foot, folks. Tennessee is right now. They decline the penalty, take the down. The harder I go, the behind her I get. That's what's happening to Tennessee right now. Right now, it seems to me that Tennessee may be frustrated a little bit. They're having trouble getting people on and off the field and they having some penalties to hurt them. They took the down, makes it second down and 16 yards to go. The ball is to the 11-yard line. Kentucky's got some fine-looking athletes out there on their side of the football field. Defensive front is really active, aren't they? Uh, they come across pretty quick. Shane Kelly back in a shotgun. He's going to look at it this time. He doesn't have time to set up because the front's coming so fast. Rolling back, setting up, looking, tries to run, tries to stretch it out, turns it on up the field. Oh, did he ever hit it? Oh, got it. Ball. Popped it up. But I believe he was already Long down. down. He got banged, folks. He got hit. He got blindsided from the side, and that was number Shane seven. Kelly. Who number, got him? Number 79, Phil Metling, defensive tackle from uh, St. Xavier High School. He had already penetrated and come back and got him after he was trying to zigzag in the second hey, there. You know what that's that's what you get knocked out of your shoes, isn't it? You know that a slobber knocker stage. That's <laughs> slobber knocker. Third down oh. and 12 to go. Tennessee needing something big here. Well, right, that brings on some enthusiasm, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. On the own 20-yard line. Makes me glad I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Kelly back. It's a snap. Yeah. Long time clock run out. Yeah, that's it. We got another five-yard penalty. Tennessee does. Huh. Too much time, folks. Tennessee is disorganized at the moment. Kentucky's here to play. We're they showing a lot of frustration right now. We're in the first quarter, 352 to play, 7-0 Kentucky leading. You know, Tennessee has been dominating this series, I believe, 13-3. and three, and, But today, Kentucky says, the heck with that noise we're going to show you. And right now, they're showing us. Uh, what happens in the past doesn't affect what happens today. Nope. When you play a high, when you play football, that's the thing you learn from football. It's you got it from day to day. It's not what you've done in the past. Shane Kelly with the pass overthrows his man. I believe he trapped the ball. Oh, it was in there. He thought he intercepted. He cut number twenty-one came in fast, folks. Neil Warren, but he he trapped the ball and it was uh, just uh, incomplete pass. So it's fourth down, and Tennessee Cody Ridgeway has got to go back and punt. Hear the crowd across the way. See what they're excited here in Kentucky about this bunch. I tell you what, this is a, one of the finer. I've been broadcast this four years now, and this is one of the finer Kentucky teams I think I've seen up uh, playing Tennessee in, in past years. Cody Ridgeway waits for the snap, gets the snap, 
gets a kick away. Doesn't take it in. Not a big high spiral. This thing going to be taken there and a good, going to get a good run back. He's taken there by Leon Mack, and Mack was finally down on the 39-yard line. Tennessee got pretty good coverage on him that time. You know, Bill, when you've only got five days to, to prepare for a ball game like this, you got to do your little fundamental things, probably not be jumping all sides and get every, get them people on the field right now. That's what Kentucky's doing, giving themselves a chance to, to be in head of Tennessee. Are taking too much time. It'll, it'll, it'll kill you. Yeah, it'll kill you. As we're set to go in, back in again, Travis Atwell is quarterbacking right now. The youngster going to University of Toledo. Two men backfield, flanker to the left side, split right in for Kentucky, rolling back Atwell. Atwell hands off. He hits off tackle, tries to go upfield, cutting upfield with a football was Brandon Hayes, and Hayes got knocked down. Hayes going to Arkansas, folks. He's out of Hopkinsville High School. Yeah, I couldn't tell who made that here. Doc right Robertson from Miling High School in on the tackle there, playing the corner. Came, Doc came up in a hurry and put the, put the hammer on him. Second down and nine yards to go. Picked up one. He tried to hit off tackle and had tried to, and it was blocked up in there, and he tried to go wide, and Doc Robertson came up in a hurry and held him the one-yard gain. Split left. Now man in motion for Kentucky. There's a quarterback, quick pitch to the tailback. He got by one man, got That's a block, job. tried to cut the corner, and coming over and knocking him down. Looked like it was Barton Simmons. He's, he's, a, he's a tall, rangy guy, Bill. He's a, he's a good-looking athlete from out of Montgomery Bell. He was a free safety. kind of cheated up a little bit, didn't he? He sure did. They outnumbered us on the corner, or outnumbered Tennessee on the corner, and they walled him off, and he got picked up pretty good yards. Picked up about four yards on the play. Third down and about five yards to go for Kentucky. The ball is down on the 34-yard line in Tennessee territory. Kentucky leading 7-0. Wanting more here. They're down in Tennessee territory. Two-man backfield. Quarterback under, looks it over. Atwell fakes inside. Now he keeps the ball, cuts off tackle. He may have got the first down, folks. It was good maneuvering by Atwell that time. He did get the first. Shaka Hill missed the tackle there. Had a chance to stop him on the option and didn't put the helmet on him. Oh, Shaka didn't get to shoulder. And Shaka weighs 245 pounds. If he hits you, you got to go down. But he just faked away from him. Faking you out of your shoes. Do you what? Uh, Atwell showed some quickness there. First down and 10 yards to go for the Kentucky Wildcats. It's a football game in the first quarter. They're driving for more. They want more. Flanker right, split left in. Quarterback under at will. Adwell on the keeper play. Runs right. Good faking there. He's got a block. He's on the corner. Cuts on the corner. Cuts back to the middle of the field. They hit him once. They finally knock him down. Got the first down. Moved it down. Close to the first down. I believe he got it. Yes, he did. Do you what they're running the bootleg right here, and they're just pinning the defensive end inside. And they don't have anybody to contain the quarterback right here, and he's just off and running. Do you what he had a tight end running open down about the 10 yard line, could thrown to him rather than run the football if he wanted to. Then first down and 10 yards to go. The ball on the 13 yard line down in Tennessee territory. They, Tennessee needs to hold here, folks. They need to tighten up. Tighten up here. Tennessee is in tr a spot of trouble right now. Quarterback Travis Edwell rolls up there. The two-man eye backfield. Edwell gives second man through. Got four or five. Moved it down across the 10 to about the nine-yard line. And running the football was Brandon Hayes. Brandon Hayes going over to Arkansas to play his college ball. Houston Nutt over there says, I'd like to have that gentleman. He's going to get him. I believe that was Victor McClure from Tennessee making the tackle. He'll be going to Tennessee out of Saudi Daisy right there. Second down, seven yards to go for the Kentucky All-Stars, the ball is on the 10-yard line in the Tennessee Territory. Kentucky leading, wanting more. Split left in, flanker right. Got a big spread out there. They're trying to spread them out. Two men eye, first man through, hands it, knocked him down. Good job that time for the linebacker's spot. That was Shaka Hill, wasn't it? No, I believe that was Corey, Corey Robinson Corey right Robinson. there out of Knoxville Central going to Ole Miss. See what uh, you see the split between the guard and tackle is well, that play before too. I believe I just stunt and go right there because that would bring that linebacker there. Let's go. And the Robinson goal. was there, made him in the hole, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Knocked him down, line of scrimmage, third down. He, well, Robinson's a good looking kid. He's 6'5, 235, guys. You know, people don't understand what kind of high school athletes are out there. That's you know, a we, We've got some good ones. In the first quarter, it's 7 0 as Kentucky All Stars leading. Let's take a 60 second local break and hear this on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. It's hot. I'll tell you what. 
We better get our act together. They're fixing to tear our butts up. Bill Haney, Steve Lindsay, the head football coach at Lexington High School, and Gary Wilkson with us here. They're bringing you the action from Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky. And it's a 7 nothing ball game. Tennessee is trailing right now. Third down, eight yards to go. And they're down knocking at the door, one and two yards to go. The ball's down on the five-yard line into Tennessee territory. As Kentucky rolls out of there, Leon Mack is flanked to the left side. He ends in tight to the right side. Second man through, handoff, spinning off, keeps running, keeps running. Finally holding on for dear life. A Tennessee player comes up number three, Barton Simmons, and got him again. Tell you what, this, uh, this young man from Kentucky is Ray Childs uh, from Nelson County High School going to Louisville. He's a fine-looking running back. He's a hard-nosed running back, Bill. That was uh, Ray Childs, number 48, 6 195 doing a good job. Got some official stats. You know, first down, Tennessee only got one in the first quarter. Kentucky got four in the first quarter. Mm, tells the story. Tells the story. Offensive yards, 32 for Tennessee, 105 for Kentucky. That's the big numbers. Blanker left at will, the quarterback, second man through, hands off to Childs again, dives off right tackle. They knocked him down on the two. Big defensive stand here for Tennessee. It'll be now second down and goal to go. Tennessee held that time, folks. They try to block on that right tackle over there. See, when Kentucky's up, people up front, I'll take my chances right here. I'll just keep running the ball. Second down, one yard to go here for Kentucky. Down knocking the door. Ends are in tight. It's a straight eye back there. Now they shift on the L left. There's a handoff at well straight die play up the middle. Did he get there? They say yes. Plunges in from one yard away for the TD for Kentucky. Oh. Who got that one? 37. Same one he scored a while ago. Jeremy yep. call it. Jeremy's got a sign up over there in the Kentucky side. Call it. And they are out in force for him today. He's got his own cheering section over there. Attempting to hear the extra point, Sean Payne. Ball spotted. Kick up. Kick is good. It's a 14-0 ball game as Kentucky All-Stars lead in this ball game. Let's take a 60-second break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. Do what? Tennessee don't get together, get blown out of here. We better get our act together, Henry. With 11-18 to play in the first half of play, Tennessee trailing this ball game 14 to nothing. Kentucky All-Stars come out with fire in their eyes, and they really romped here this first quarter and into a minute to play in the second quarter. Folks, your opinion right now? I tell you right now, uh, we got we got to start doing some things different up front, Bill. We got to start taking control of the line of scrimmage. If we don't, it's going to be a long day for Tennessee. 
As a kicker, Colin Barber kicks it back in the end zone. They're going to have to bring it out to the 20-yard line. He gets a good boot into that ball as Tennessee player number 19, or that was Leonard Burris, back to try to 15. run the kick. 18, Ro Roosevelt, Kathy? I believe that was 15. Uh, wasn't it the Dunlap 15? kid? Dunlap, yeah. Yeah, Dunlap. Dunlap. Nick Dunlap. He had to go back in the end zone, try to bring it out. Of course, he can't bring it out in high school. The first down and 10 to go. Ball on the own 20-yard line. Ball in possession of Tennessee. Tennessee trails 14-0 in this ball game. Shane Kelly, the quarterback. Jabari Greer is going to split out wide to the left side. We've got a slot left, flanker right, lone setback. Kelly looks over the defense alignment. Quick handoff, a dip in, dip out for Tennessee runner. He got away from one, bores that head and keeps running. And that's C.J. Scott. Out of Glencliff High School, out of Nashville. He got some good yards, moved that ball upfield, and they say it is a first down. Good running play. Best running play I think Tennessee's had from the line of scrimmage. First down and 10 to go. The ball is on the 32-yard line of Tennessee. They trail 14-0 in this one. 11 minutes to play in the first half. Tennessee needs a big offensive play. Well, we need to just control the football a little bit here and get our composure back under us. There's a rest. Russell coming in, stopping play here. See what, Kentucky had to take a timeout. I think they got a player maybe injured. Timeout for Kentucky. What a student love that'll give you something to stand up and cheer about then scout out the best in the field. First Tennessee, a preferred lender for the University of Tennessee system. With First Tennessee, you receive generous borrower incentives and service from a bank you know and trust. Make a direct hit on First Tennessee's website at www.firsttennessee.com for all of the student loan information you need. From First Tennessee, the official bank of the balls. And on our stations today on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network, we're glad to have you aboard with us today. And next week on several of these stations, next Friday night, you'll hear the Tennessee East-West All-Star Basketball Game, Boys and Girls Live from Thompson Bowling Arena in Knoxville, Tennessee. Also on July 22nd, you'll hear the Shriners East-West Tennessee All-Star Football Game, live from Football Stadium in Middle Tennessee State in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. We're here in the second quarter of this and 14 to nothing, Kentucky in the lead. And a surprising turn of events the way it's been going in recent years, folks. Kentucky has really come out and playing a tough, hard-nosed game here early on. Bill, I can't believe how big Kentucky is. Their defensively and offensive lines are just huge. At the they're not they're not lacking for size, really, Gary. Yeah, they're not lacking for enthusiasm either. <laughs> no, you 14 points up, you ought to be enthused. Shane Kelly leads them out, slot left. Flanker right for Tennessee. Lone setback back there. Straight dive play. That's right straight ahead. Shane Kelly got about five yards on that play. I guess if he can pick up five every time. That's good blocking up the middle. He just took a wham. we right up the middle for about four or five yards. Shane Kelly. He what? Uh, flag on the play. That may be a late hit. See what the... Uh, Tackle then made by Phil Metling, the uh, number 79 for Kentucky. Offsetting penalty, is that what the official just? Unsportsmanlike conduct against Tennessee. I thought for a moment he had offsetting penalties, but I say he's not. No, I, I, think, uh, I think I saw one of our big linemen to get a late shove in there, Bill. I, right now, you know, we've, we're not playing with, uh, with any poise. Tennessee's uh, lacking in their poise right now. Well, they need to get their emotions under control and try to establish a drive. They need to get ready to play football, quit all the mouthing and, and, and pointing, and get ready to play football. Second down and about 20 yards to go. The ball is back on the 23-yard line, Tennessee territory. And Shane, Cully, Shane Kelly breaks them out of there. Another long set back. Three wide outs. As Kelly tries to pass, yeah. and it's intercepted on the sideline. He's going to stop it in for the TD. Kelly could That's not number stop it. That's number 28 right there for Kentucky. Joe Cajoni, 250-pounder. Yeah. Defensive end. As he got the interception, it was kind of tipped, looked like at the line of scrimmage, was it not? So what, he made a great read on it. And just a, I he, thought just it was a, he just stepped in front of an out pass. Uh, That's what he did. 
That's a great read. Picked it off, and here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was Tennessee's undoing there. Shane Kelly was going to try to get, hit a quick out, try to get him up the sideline, and wham, bam, thank him. They're going for two. Kentucky going for two. No, they didn't, score. They didn't they score. score, Bill. They got knocked out on the three-yard line. Oh, did they? Didn't well, score. I saw a man's hand go up on the far side over there. That was a great job out of Shane Boyd, at the quarterback of Kentucky right there. They had 12 people on the field, and he called timeout before he uh, got to lay a game. That was Re a, he realized that, didn't he? He, uh, he showed a lot of leadership. He's over talking to his coach right now. Let's just keep it real. Well, we got time for a 30-second local break. We want to get our local sponsors in here. Let's take a 30-second local break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. Back at Commonwealth Stadium here in Lexington, Kentucky, and uh, what'd you just say over there, good man? You were you were I, talking I, as they come I back. I tell you what, they're gonna wedge us out. They get on the two-yard line. They're gonna get behind that big offensive line. They're gonna give it to that big fullback, and he's gonna get them a yard, yard and a half. What I feel like. It'll Shane be. Boyd, the quarterback, with an L right formation for Kentucky. There's a well, he fakes, rolls left, then fooled in the back. Oh, that's, that's, that's big. That's big. As a segment number twenty, uh, is that twenty right there? Burris out of a, uh, out of Trevin playing right corner. And tell you what, the man that made the contact was number thirty-one. Stayed at home was Corey Robinson. The big play that set it up when the fake to that halfback as he tried made a dive and act like he had the ball, but it didn't fool Mr. Burris because he came with him with his good defensive job. I, think. I don't understand Kentucky's thinking right there. Straight because ahead. <laughs> that, it's they've now. got the version of the Hogs. I believe I'd take advantage of them. So, second down on uh, for Kentucky on the 12-yard line of Tennessee. Two men eye backfield. Rolling back Boyd. Looks Boyd with a little pattern over in the mm, end zone. Man. And he tried to get it and tried to float it over to him. And uh, he was kind of jostled up on the five-yard line, but they say no pass interference. As long as, that, as long as that ball's not released from the quarterback's hand, you can, uh, you can get the contact. You can. Contact. That's exactly right, as long as it's not released. The, Boy. Crowd, the crowd across the way wanted that call, didn't he? Well, Boy, was uh, politicking for a call, wasn't he? <laughs> hey, man, he held my man. <laughs> they want that home, homegrown Third down. Down advantage. Third down and 12 on the 12-yard line down into Tennessee territory. 9.31 to play first half. Kentucky leading 14 to nothing. Big defensive play a few moments ago. Kept Kentucky out of the end zone. Two men eye back. Field quarterback Boyd under rolls back. Now hands off. Uh, second man through on a little draw play. Fullback draw. Got it across the 10 to the 8-yard line. Tennessee was kind of waiting on that one, Steve. I tell you what, we need to we need to have a block here. We need a big play and get get the momentum back on uh, Tennessee's side right here for us to have a shot to get back in this ball game. Taurus Morgan, 6'3", 225, defensive Man made the stop for Tennessee. Vice kicker's late getting on the field, but they just now <laughs> marking the ball. As Colin Barber is going to be the kicker, and he'll kick from the 14 to be a 24-yard field goal attempt here for Kentucky from the on 14-yard line. So Colin Barber will kick a 24-yard field goal here for Kentucky. Ball snap, kick down, place down. The kick is up, and the That's kick it. is good. It's a 17 to nothing ball game. Kentucky All-Stars leading. Let's take another 30 second local break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. here in Lexington, Kentucky, Commonwealth Stadium, Tennessee, trying to lock and load, held them to a three points after they had gotten down to the two-yard line, a big defensive play, but Burris has, has uh, held them to three points on that one. Would you guys agree? Well, I'll, I'll say this for us. Uh, if, there, if we got a chance to 
maybe stop their momentum. Maybe we can look back to that a little bit later on in the game and say, you know, hey, we got, at least we got a shot to get back in this thing now, keep them from getting seven. Gee, what the uh, Our friends of Kentucky listening on WBLKA AM in Lexington at 590 on the dial, and they have a right to rejoice right now because Kentucky is leading. Do you what? Uh, I'm really. They need to rejoice. They got a lot of talent out well, there. Well, I'm really pleased to see Kentucky this strong of football up in the state of Kentucky. You know, you always think of basketball. Colin Barber approaches, kick downfield, gets a fouling job, and it's going to be taken up on about the 12-yard line, taken by Tennessee's uh, C.J. Scott, runs it to the right side, got by one man, kept on moving, kept his legs moving, got it to the 28. Pretty good run back there by C.J. I, 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 I believe I was tackled by Taurus Morgan right there, 1-6-3, 225 guy. Out of, I'm looking at the wrong one, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jamie Alexander out of uh, Fulton County High School. That's, That's just right. That's right across the line, isn't it? That's right. Fulton, Kentucky. First down and 10 yards to go. The ball's on the 29-yard line. Tennessee territory in the possession of Tennessee coming in quarterbacking for Tennessee. Will Martin is back in. 8.30 to play. First half of play, 17-0. Kentucky has jumped out to a 17-point lead. Jabari Greer splits wide to the left side. Slot left. Flanker right for Tennessee. Two-man backfield. Quarterback backing and a shotgun, takes it, looks downfield, going to run, cuts away to the right side and hit him on a 35, falls to the 36. Had a pretty good movement there, couldn't go all the way as Will Martin trying to scramble. Tackle you know, in made by number 81, Ed Robinson, defensive end for the Kentucky All-Stars. I know it's easier to see from where we are than where he is, but uh, he had number 22 wide open and Anton Thomason from uh, Lincoln County right there for a big game if he just... Just got his eyes up and down to make the throw and catch. Hard to see them big old tackles coming at you, in it? Like I said, it's a lot easier up here than it is down there. Well, Second, he didn't have really a lot of time then. <laughs> Second down and three yards to go for Tennessee as they move the ball to the 35-yard line. Quick handoff, quick opening play. Maybe got two yards. May got the first down as he fell forward for a good yardage. Tennessee running back laid it out there. Tackle by Jeremy Cottle from... Uh, Pretzenberg High School, Kentucky signee. That was Gerald Turner running that time, got the first down. Gerald Turner from Portland got the first down, moved it to the 39-yard line. Tennessee's possession, 729 to play in the first half. Bill, Jabari Greer had touched the football for the Tennessee All-Stars this game. You're right. Other than the punt, he had one time on a punt return. Yep. Slot left, lone setback is Turner. Hand off to Turner. Quick on the play. Off right tackle. Got about four. Boy, did that hole close in a hurry. Had a big hole, but it didn't ever close in a hurry. Tell you Kentucky is strong up front, both offensively and defensively. We're just trying to run zone plays and try to hit the seam. We just got to hit a little quicker and stay on people a little bit longer up front. Gerald Turner scooted it through for about two and a half yards. I thought he was going to go for six or seven away it open. <laughs> Closed in a hurry, too, didn't yes, it? Yes, it did. Balls across the 40 to the 41 in Tennessee territory in possession of Tennessee. They trail 17-0. Quarterback rolling back. Martin looks downfield. Fires. He got a man wide open. Hit him. Uh, throw behind mm -hmm. him. Couldn't hold it. Hit his hands. And they say when it hits your hands, you're supposed to hold it. And I'll agree with that last statement you just made. I think a quarterback can't make a perfect throw every time and it hits your hands. I think you're supposed to catch it. That ball was catchable. He got in the middle of the zone sat down and just didn't catch the football. He's got to make that type of catch. Hard to pick that number up. Who was that? He was... Throwing two. Uh, number 18. Kathy. Kathy. Roosevelt Kathy. Had a shot at it, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Matter of fact, he should have caught it. Third down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line of Tennessee. Want to get something going here. They need to if they're going to try to get back in this ballgame. Kentucky leading 17-0. Slot left. Rolling, setting up. down, Looking downfield. Will Martin runs left. He fires it, tries to throw it in a crowd, couldn't get it there. He had three around him. That was ill-advised throw, folks. He was trying to hit his man, Ryan McLaughlin, over there. Ill-advised throw. It fell incomplete. i tell you something about it. Everybody loves to see that ball and put it in the air. One thing about it, when you start throwing, you got you got to be able to put it on target and you got to be able to catch it also. Uh, Did you think Tennessee would come out throwing like they are this first half? Or do you think, but you know, we've won in the past couple of years running that old pigskin. This year we're throwing that pigskin. We're not doing too well right now. I tell you what, you got to be able to run the football in high school first, and then worry about everything else later. Cody Ridgeway gets a high snap. 
Goes back, mm. catch it, got the front off. Beautiful kick, high spiraling job. Goes downfield, didn't call for the fair catch. Comes to the left side, get away from one, tries to go back to the center of the field, and then knocked it down on the 35. Good Who, escapability. Who was that made the table? Was that number 55? Yeah. For Tennessee? Yeah. Uh, Nick, uh, how do you pronounce his last yeah, name? Yeah, Zula. Zula. From, from Houston High School Zula. in Memphis. 616 to play, second quarter. Well, boys, that was a high snap, and he was lucky to get that kick. Cody Ridgeway, really, his athletic ability and his punting ability got that one where they did. That may be one of the reasons he's a high recruited punter out of the state yeah. of Tennessee. Timeout on the field, and while we got this timeout, let's take another 30 second local break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. back here at Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky, trailing 17-0. Kentucky's over Tennessee now, and ball in possession here of Kentucky as they've just taken the ball on the 36-yard line, first down and 10 yards to go. We need to stop them right here. We don't need to go in this thing 24 to nothing or even 20 to nothing. And Kentucky thinks if we can put one more score on the board, we're going to drive that nail in that coffin. Gary, what was you saying a while ago? Where's the beef? I'm looking at the beef here for Kentucky. I that's think what, if you what they said in the paper. I tell you what, you look across that front line there for them, the uh, two tackles are over 300, and the two guards are about average about 270 pounds. And they kind of whooping us up front right now, aren't they? They enjoying it. Yes. <laughs> Flanker to the left. Two-man eye backfield with the quarterback under there is Shane Boyd for Kentucky All-Stars. Shane takes reverse around the right side, try to cut back against the green, got nowhere. That was Sean Payne, or not Sean Payne, but J.T. Haskins trying to cut back, and we had some good defense out there. That was Jason Witten from uh, Elizabethan High School. Time with Tennessee. That's, he's a large individual. He's 6'7, 270. Didn't fool him that he time. He stayed at home. He didn't yeah, chase, did he? Defensive end played the job, played it well. He's going to University of Tennessee. Second down and 10 yards to go. Here for the Kentucky All Stars. They have the ball in the own 36 yard line. Flanker right. Two man eye backfield with Boyd, the quarterback under. Looks it over, hands off. First man through. This time, Tennessee met him in the hole. And knocked him down, at, but no gain on the play. Good defensive move that time, folks. Could you tell over there that Albert Means that began from Tresman High School in Memphis, Tennessee. He's a big time recruit. I tell you, I went down to Alabama with their coaching plan. They're they're uh, they feel like this young man can come in and help them next year down there. He's big enough. He's a big boy. Third down, ten to go. Balls on the 37-yard line of Kentucky All Stars. 5:03 to play in the first half of action. Slot left, split left, in flanker right for Kentucky. Lone setback this time. Under there, Shane Boyd rolls back, sets up, looks downfield. A state has a good long time to throw. He was trying to hit him and dragging across, but threw it too far in front of him. Looked like it was intended by Scott Player. Is that who he's throwing to? It was uh, way in front of him. He, I, I believe he just uh, had a bad throw. I tell you what, your linebacker stepped in front of his curl route, and he, and he couldn't throw it, and then when the receiver broke out to the sideline, he just missed him when he came out. Did. Timing's off a little bit there. Fourth down and 10, the ball on the 37-yard line. Back to punt this football will be Colin Barber. But he did the smart thing. He didn't force it in there and get the interception. Well, Tennessee needs something big to happen for him right here. Two men back to receive this kick for Tennessee. Jabbar Greer is one of them, but I don't know who the other young man might be. Colin nice. Barber booms one. He booms one. We're backing Good up job. on the 18, taking the football mm. for Tennessee. No. Is mm. number eight, and he had nowhere to go. He tried to he tried to circle back, folks. He didn't try to go forward. He lost some yardage. He took it on the 18. And I believe they're going to down him on the well, trap. He lost what, six yards. That's not what we need. That's Jason Wolf, number eight out of uh, Seymour, Seymour High School. 
That's not what we need. You need to take that ball and go north or south with it. You sure don't need to go backwards with it. He lost six yards on that kick return there, mm. trying to circle around wide, and they just were chasing him back. And, boy, the good good coverage on the special teams with Kentucky, you got to say that. They were there. But brag on Colin Barber, an excellent punt. Ooh, yes, it, it was. Was it ever. First down and 10 to go. Tennessee's ball on the own 13-yard line. Once again, the quarterback for Tennessee, Will Martin, Flanker right, split left in. Mm. Will Martin rolling right, looks, and he gets away from one, tries to get away from Fumble. another. They knock him down, fumble on the play. Who recovered it? Kentucky, Kentucky says, we got ball. it. Let's see. Do they? The Does Kentucky have it? Let's wait till the other I believe they've got it, Bill. Yes, they do. They feel good about it. Yes, they do. They've got it. Yes, That's not do. what we needed here with four and a half minutes left in the oh. second quarter. Kentucky has riled up, folks. They're playing excellent ball. Tennessee is back on their heels, and, and the, uh, the line play, defensive and offensive play of Kentucky has just been tremendous here in this first half. Bottom line, Kentucky's just done everything fundamentally sound. They've held on to the ball. They haven't had any penalties. They haven't made any uh, poor errors or judgments. They're doing a fine job. And, and old cliche, they came to play. They sure did. Going to be first down and 10 yards to go from the 11-yard line down in Tennessee territory. In the excitement there, I did not see who recovered the fumble, but there's a whole pile over there. Kentucky says it don't matter. We got it. What the ball was stripped then by the defensive end, Kentucky. Split left end, flanker right for Kentucky. Two men out backfield. Quarterback under there rolls back. He ain't going to keep it. Going to try to bootleg it. They chase Great him. Job. He looks. Now he looks downfield. Nobody to throw to. Look Got in here. trouble. Look, here. look at his capability. Look at this man. man. He may go. He may look go. He's going to be knocked down on the one yard line. What Travis, a play. Travis Atwell. Travis Atwell escaped from about four different tackles, folks. And he had him trapped, and he came out of there, Steve Lindsay. That, what it was, it was it he earned this year? Mr. Football in the state I'll tell of Kentucky. What, I believe he just showed it right there. That's a great athletic ability. Quick, quick feet. Oh, boy. Super, super job. Power eye backfield. Quarterback under at Travis Atwell. Now they want some timeout. And yep. they got some time out. While they're doing that, let's just take a 60-second local break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. receiver stuff and worked on a lot of that instead of doing basic and all you gotta put we're back here in Lexington Kentucky and things are going from bad to worse gentlemen <laughs> Kentucky, well, it depends on which side of the ball you're on. <laughs> That's <honey>. right. <laughs> right now they're going great for Kentucky, and they're doing a great job. The power eye formation, as quarterback leads them out there, Travis Atwell. What a job he's done. Hand off, second man through. Dive. Oh, man, he here. got the touchdown. That's he's the in there. Quarterback's man. got it. Bill. Quarterback's got it right here. <laughs> he dove it in there and for <laughs> the touchdown, and that was a fake to the – he faked it to the tailback and just booted in. Belly series, and he dived over the blockers. Good. He went up from him and got the one-yard touchdown. Plunge, Kentucky leads it, baby, 23 to nothing. So, Atwell, Mr. Football of Kentucky. Yes, sir. Done Decent. his thing. Travis Atwell, what can you say? <laughs> I say Kentucky's playing ball. They're playing ball. Sean Payne is going to attempt the extra point out of the hole of Neil Warren. For Kentucky, eating already 23 nothing. Who would have thought it, folks? 3:48 to play in the first half. Hang on to your seat. Uh oh, I believe you're going to have the right tackle breaking a three-point stance over there for the Kentucky team. I think they they, they made him do that. One guy bluffed at him and he took it. it. I tell you, I'm seeing some of the Tennessee players, their, their knees are still on the ground when the when people put their hands on the ball. I don't believe we're ready to play. Well, we've been on their heels. 
And Very Kentucky good. has been been coming off of that. The line is is whipping our line. Really, it really <laughs> are. Now let's tell it like if it you, is. If you don't get if you don't get yourself prepared to play yeah. right here and get your hands and knees off the ground, it's going to be a long night because those guys from Kentucky are big individuals and strong. they're good. And they're just, good. Yes, they are. See, we're not ready right now. Sean Payne is going to attempt. Ball is snap, kick down, kick is up, good. and the kick is good. It's a 24-0 ball game. Kentucky lead Tennessee, 348 to play here in Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky. Let's take a 30-second break and hear this on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. back here at the Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky. And yes, I do, too, Steve Lindsay. I think they're solid, too. Bill Haney, Steve Lindsay, Gary Wilson here in Kentucky doing a number on Tennessee right now, leading 24 to nothing here at halftime with 3.48 to play in the first half of play. Well, let's see if Tennessee can get something going here as Leonard Burris will be back to receive this kick, and he'll be back there along with Jabari Greer. And kicking off for Kentucky will be Colin Barber once again. They've had a lot of ex experience this afternoon kicking off, wouldn't you say? Had a lot of practice doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up here, we, uh, we talk about how good of a ball game this might be. We never, never did expect it to be like this. No, no. Low line drive kick taken by Jabari Greer back on the four-yard line. Cuts back up the field, got one block, tried to get it on the corner, tried to cut away from men, moved it to the 25, 26, 27-yard line when he upended him over there. That's number 16 right there for uh, Kentucky, J.T. Haskins. He's made a lot of play on special teams, hasn't he? He made a good run on the reverse earlier in the ball game. 16-yard kickoff return, moves the ball across the 25 to the where they finally going to put it down on the 27. First down and 10 to go for Tennessee on the own 27, but 340 to play in the first half, and Kentucky leading 24 to nothing. Tell you what, Bill, if Tennessee needs to put some points on the board here in order to get back in it to make a game of it to the second half because it's hard to overcome 24 and one half of play. Man in motion, Tennessee. Now Flanker sets right, quarterback under there, long count. Hands off, first man through, cuts back to the middle, got a good run, nice got run. close to the first down. It, the hole was late opening up there, and he kind of squirted through. It is. It looked like, looked like that we, Turner. That's Demetrius Fields from Cleveland, yeah. Tennessee. Looked yeah. like, looked like it, looked like we was kind of waiting to block, didn't it? Well, that's where that zone play works, Bill. You just kind of hug up on yeah. bodies and wait for that seam to happen and then try to explode into it. How the quarterback on there for Tennessee is Will Martin once again. Mm. Lanker right for Tennessee. Quick opening play again. A hits off right tackle, cuts to the outside, kind of veered to the right side. And the running back, once again, that was 23, Demetrius Fields, runs it up for the first down for Tennessee. Move the ball in two plays, pretty good here, to the 41-yard line of Tennessee. 2.59 to play, Tennessee's ball, trying to do something with it before halftime. Trying to stop the bleeding. Trying to stop the bleeding, you're exactly right. No timeouts. Tennessee had any timeouts. Neither team has a timeout here now. It's Will Martin, the quarterback under there. Slot left. Lanker left. Long set back is Demetrius Fields. Straight dive play up middle. Went off his right tackle. Running the football. Cut away from one. Spins away from another. And Will Martin runs it down to the 45-yard line. I believe, that, I believe that's Shane spot. Kelly. Was it Shane yeah, running I in? Shane, I believe Shane's the quarterback now. He tackle. changes on something. Yes, yeah, number five, Shane Kelly. Joe King made the tackle. Moved um, it down to the 46. First down and 10 to go for Tennessee. First and 10 for Tennessee. Down into Kentucky Wildcat territory. Tennessee is, this is the first consistent drive they've had in the boat. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's the only time, well, is this the first time we've been in Kentucky territory? You know, I it believe is. you're right. I you're right. It is. You're right. 2.27 to play. First time in Kentucky territory. Slot left, long setback. 
Hands off, lone setback. Dive play up the middle. Got about four, and that's all they got down to the 41-yard line. But they're running the football. They're running the ball. I agree with that, Gary. They're, they're trying to establish something. And they run it down to the – where you're going to spot it at the 41-yard line down in Kentucky territory. But running the football is not going to help them here if they don't. Well, now is when you need to pass it because you're nearing the end of the first half at 2.13 to play, and you're trailing 24 nothing. But of course, we, there's a lot of time left in second There is, and I'm going to tell you, you may not necessarily need a touchdown. You just need to get some points on the board. Flag here. down on the play. You know, if we can get a field goal, get this thing within three touchdowns, that would you could go in with, a, you know, as a coach and still have something to give your kids a, a chance to fight for. Kentucky was offsides on the play. So I get a five-yard penalty. First down and ten yard, five yards to go. No, it wasn't a penalty. They, they make it second six. I thought they were offsides. He, pick, he, he picked his flag up over there yeah. for some reason. Second down and six yards to go. Pick up a four on the last play. Well, it's a big hole right here you know, on Shane, that side. Oh. Yeah, Shane Kelly with it. Straight dive play up the middle. A little quarterback sneak. Try to squirt through there. Moves it to the 35. Close to the first down. Need to get it. Uh, it's close. It's, gonna it's be real old. close. I believe it's going to be just a hair short where they're marking it at. That's the first push I've seen uh, Tennessee's offensive front have all day. They want to take a look at it. The official says less look, but it says it's just it's short, short by six inches. But it is a third down. And six inches shy of the first we got, we got to speed it up. Going slow gear here. We got to speed it up. As Jason Wolf splits wide to the left, slot left, long setback, rolling back. Shane Kelly looking downfield. Mm -hmm. Got his man downfield, goes up, and he couldn't bring it down. It threw it a little bit too high, had a leap for it, couldn't get it. It was intended downfield. Was that 31, Corey Robinson? I believe that's uh, number 22. Tw and Tom number 22. Thomason. Boy, those numbers are hard to see. They are. In them shadows down there. <laughs> I tell you what, the, uh, that's a, that ball was catchable. I, he hit it in his hands. You well, know, two times we missed one, had it in the hands, you know. You've got to catch the ball. I know it's a, uh, you know, most spectators say, well, that's not a very well thrown ball, but, Fourth you know, if it's in your hands, you've got to catch, catch it. it. Fourth down and inches here. They had a throw away down, and that's what they did. They throw it away. Quarterback under Kelly looks at it. He's going to sneak it. All he had to do is get his body. Good He's going to it. I'm <laughs> telling you. Offensive line surge was good. Well, that I didn't need to see when a helmet come off. The guy pulled his helmet off. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I believe I'd keep my helmet on if I could. Yeah, but he got it pulled off. <laughs> he got the first down, though. That was important. Uh, down to the 30. First down and 10 to go. we got a minute left. Don't worry about that. Get your helmet back on. Get in the huddle. Get ready to roll. Call two plays back there. Tell you, if you're Tennessee right now, 109 to play. Tennessee trailing 24 nothing. I know you want a touchdown here, but you sure don't want to shoot yourself in the foot and even take a field goal out of play here. Flanker right, split left in. Mm. Oh. Oh. Look at here. And I'm telling you, once again, Tennessee goofed. Fumble recovered by number 27 for Kentucky. High snap. Not handled by the quarterback, Jason Justin Haycock. From St. Xavier, uh, Kentucky signing. 6'2, 230 was on the ball of Kentucky football, and I think everything at Tennessee can go wrong has gone wrong here the first day, folks. As I say, I believe the football guys are on Kentucky's <laughs> side right now, aren't they? In this first day, they certainly are. What will Tennessee <laughs> do at halftime? Oh. Hopefully, they, hopefully, they'll get their act together, right? Well, you know, you, you've I got. Think, I think it's due to Kentucky's good playing. Well, they've yeah. got. Kentucky's got a lot of talent. Yeah. Two men eye backfield with the quarterback under there. That's Travis Atwell again. No, not Travis Atwell this time, Shane Boyd. It's the fullback trap. Fullback trap, and he's got about six or seven yards, and they moved it up to the 40 yard line. You know, that's a, what's that number? 37, Jeremy Cola. Is that how you pronounce his yeah, last name? Big fullback. I tell you, he's a, you know, he's been an unsung hero in this uh thing. He's a, done a lot of great blocking up front, and he's got a couple scores. Jason Witten was the one who made the tackle that time for Tennessee. Six, Had he not got him, he might have gone a long way. 6'1", 230-pound fullback <laughs> signed with Georgetown. In, are, in Georgetown, the NAIA? Yes, hey, it is. Is. Flag on the play, fellas. Going to be against Tennessee. Another sports team. Our kids have got to keep their composure. Yeah, you can't have this. You can't have it. You're sitting here with 30 seconds, and that's, this bunch has got a lot of talent, got good speed, and you know what that's done? That's moved that ball down in the Tennessee territory. Sure has. That's He's a 15-yarder. The kickers they got it. One pass play, and they could put them in field goal position. Our right, good run play. They moved it to the 45-yard line of Tennessee, first down and 10 yards to go. How quickly things can change for you. With no timeouts, I hope they're trying to run the football. 
Slot right. Flanker left, split right in. Quarterback under Shane Boyd. Rolls back, sets up, looks, fires it. Got, it, he got, he got his man got over there. What a hit. That's Woo. a great job. He knocked him backwards, did he not? He did. But it was completely was Jamie, number, Jamie that, Alexander. That was number 25, Jermaine Dunlap. Came up from the left corner and made a great hit. He's out of Tullahoma. He stuck him, didn't he? Well, that was a solid hit. Second down and about three yards to go for the first down. And it's 12 seconds to play. Knocked him out of bounds on the far side. Look for the out routes here unless they want to take a chance on going for the home run here. Ball is on the 38-yard line down in Tennessee territory. I'd sure day, I'd sure get my defensive backs back up, make sure they don't hit me for the big boy. Leon Mack is split to the left, slot left, long setback for Kentucky. Boyd, the quarterback, rolls back, sets up, looks, gets going in the pocket. With it. They're going deep with it. the downfield. There he over with his man. Because a defensive it. man back there, uh, Steve Lindsay, had fallen down. He, sure he was wide open, and the quarterback overthrew his target. Okay. That was a touchdown. I didn't yes, it them. is. We need to back up. We need to get about 20 yards deep in our secondary right here. Keep that. this bunch. Keep the ball underneath us. Hey, what kind of arm is number 10? The Kentucky had, quarterback's had, got. Had he not thrown that ball high, wide, and handsome, it'd been six more points on the board. He's got a cannon on him. Though. That ball got there. Early. I don't think Coach Mummy would have signed if he didn't. Would he? No, I doubt it. <laughs> we won't question his arm strength no. anyway. I believe well, they're going to take the knee. It's seven seconds to play. I think you're right. It's going to be it. We're going to end the first half of play. Well, the 24 Kentucky, nothing Tennessee. Wait a minute, flag has gone down. We got. We got two or three flags going down. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Tennessee kids have lost their composure right here. We may even have a kid ejected right here. Well, if you do that, too, you're going to have a penalty beginning the second half. You will and should. Well, everybody is out there. Coaches are talking to the officials right now. Case, stay right here just a moment. Four flags went down. Something happened right before halftime, and and the flags went down. It's going to be unsportsmanlike, I think, against Tennessee. If that be the case, it's going to be a big 15-yard penalty in the second half. Who did the Who did the stuff? Did uh, you guys we, well, we don't know, but uh, Gary and myself both think it was number 83. We saw a uh, uh, Larry Womack. I saw him throw a uh, punch or a gouge in there. They're still talking. The coaches are uh, talking to the officials. I hope the kid didn't get ejected. Me I mean, too. it wasn't. It wasn't. I don't think enough to get ejected for, but this is enough of this fighting, and they ought to warn them that any next thing that happens, so you're going to be ejected. I noticed one thing about the Kentucky coach. He got on the field, told his kids, get off the field, get off the field, and Please. that's what they did. Boys, we're here at halftime, and it hasn't been, it's been ugly for Tennessee. It's been great for Kentucky. It's this 24 0 ball game. Kentucky leads Tennessee here at halftime of this game at the Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky. Let's take a two minute local break. We'll come back with halftime activities after a two minute break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network.
slow pitch softball state champion coach Jenny Myrtle from Newport Central Catholic High School. Baseball is called the national pastime. A half million boys play high school baseball. 14,000 coaches do a fantastic job as witnessed by the recent Major League Draft, which included many high school players. Congratulations are in order for Kentucky State Baseball Champion Coach Bill Tom Wayne from Henderson County High School. A fast growing sport that suits the needs of both the young and old people as they become more aware of physical fitness is tennis. A sport that requires endurance and hand-eye coordination. Congratulations to this year's tennis coaches, boys state champion coach Joe Crow from St. Xavier. Nearly 15,000 schools have varsity track programs with over one million boys and girls participating. The records keep falling as the performance in the state track meets improves with better facilities, equipment, and coaching. Congratulations to this year's state champion track coaches. Boys Class A from Bishop Brossard, Brad Dunleavy. Boys Class AA from Fort Campbell High School, Coach Jim Thomas. Boys Class AAA from North Harden High School, Coach James Webb. Girls Class A from Bishop Brossert, Coach Dave Shue. Girls Class AA from Paducah Tillman High School, Coach Cecil Ward. Girls Class AAA from Ballard High School, Coach Don Goodwin. Congratulations to the 1999-2000 Kentucky State Championship coaches, and thanks to all of the Commonwealth's coaches for your help in working with the youth of Kentucky. Let's give them a round of applause. The Kentucky High School Coaches Association would now like to introduce and present an award and a ring, compliments of Mike Casey and Balfour to the Kentucky High School Coaches Association's outstanding senior player for each of the sanctioned sports in Kentucky. In football, from Danville High School, Josh Jaggers. In girls soccer, from South Oldham High School, Jennifer Gibson. In boys soccer, from Ballard High School, VJ Diaz. In volleyball, from Assumption High School, Shelly O'Brien. In boys cross country, from Pulaski County High School, David Altmare. In girls cross country, from Kentucky Country Day, Geraldine Smith. In girls golf, from Glasgow High School, Hapney Morgan. In boys golf, from George Rogers Clark High School, Robbie Baldwin. Girls swimming and diving from DuPont Manual, Jenny Hedick. Boys swimming and diving from Scott High School, Andy Seitz. In girls basketball from Assumption High School, Jenny Benningfield, accepting for Jenny, her parents, Bill and Martha Benningfield. In boys basketball from Scott County High School, Scott Hundley. In wrestling, from Union County, George King. In girls track, from Russell High School, Jessica Southers. In boys track, and we had a tie here, from Male High School, James Doty. From Logan County High School, Billy Taylor. In girls tennis, from Lexington Christian Academy, Emily Foster. In boys tennis, from St. Xavier High School, Ben Johnson. In softball, from Butler High School, Suzanne Witten. Congratulations.
to these outstanding student athletes. The Kentucky High School Coaches Association would now like to present six $1,000 scholarships to its members, son or daughter, who are pursuing a college degree in education. These six students are Jamie Jones from Christian County High School, will be attending Murray State University. Sarah Osborne from Owen County High School will be attending Asbury or Georgetown. David Mills from Muhlenberg North High School will be attending Lindsey Wilson or Kentucky Wesleyan. Bradley Mefford from Owen County will be attending Transylvania University. Benjamin Davis from Campbellsville High School will be attending Western Kentucky University. Braxton Buge from Billet Central High School will be attending Louisville or Western. Congratulations to the Kentucky High School Coaches Association 2000 scholarship winners and their parents. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's Bob Miller Achievement Award winner is no stranger to the sports, coaches, and athletics directors in Kentucky, especially in the Louisville area. Jim Watkins has served the Jefferson County Public Schools as the Director of Academics, Activities, and Athletics since 1996. He is a charter member of the Kentucky High School Athletics Directors Association that was formed in 1975. In 1983, Jim was recognized as the Kentucky Athletics Director of the Year. In 1990, he was recognized by the National Federation Coaches Association with a Distinguished Service Award, and in 1999, he was awarded the National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association Award of Merit. Congratulations to the 2000 Coach Bob Miller Achievement Award winner, Mr. Jim Watkins. Ladies and gentlemen, Coach Joey Downs from Bardstown High School has finished his term as president of the Kentucky High School Coaches Association. As a memento for his work in helping the youth of Kentucky, and especially the coaches of Kentucky, new incoming president Rick Wood from Warren Central High School will present Coach Downs with a plaque, a ring donated by Balfour's, and a watch. Thank you, Coach Downs. Let's give all of Kentucky's award winners a warm round of applause. And a special thanks needs to be given to the Kentucky High School Coaches Association Director and the All-Star Game Director, Jimmy Reed, for all of his work in putting this event together. Nice job, Jimmy.
on the 10 yard line, picking up, breaking it downfield. Sean Payne starts up the field, got a block all over his head, tries to run up, almost ran over his own man, trying to get away from him, and finally knocked down over there by a Tennessee player. I'm impressed with that young fellow right there. He's a good runner. He sees a hole and he hits it. Well, he follows his blocking pretty doggone good, too. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, University of Louisville's going to have a fine athlete yes, they there. Are. You know, he's been mighty beneficial not only on kickoffs, and he's beneficial to him on the offense, too. He's made a couple big runs. It's going to be first down and 10 to go. They got the ball back to the 38-yard line for Kentucky. Two men eye backfield, split left in, quarterback under, takes it on and uh, hands it the first man through. Dive play over the middle. Got across the 40-yard line for Kentucky as they're running the football pretty good here in the early going here the second half. I believe that was a tackle made by Jason Witten. That was Yance Markham who ran the football, the fullback. Second down and seven yards to go for the first down for the Kentucky All-Stars. The ball on the 43-yard line. They're on 43. Leading 24 points here in this ballgame over Tennessee. Quarterback hands off. First man through. Try to hit up the middle. Got about two yards. But Tennessee's now defensive front is kind of hanging a little tougher. It is. Maybe we come back here to play in this second half a little bit. Steve looked like they were um, lined up in an unbalanced line that time. They've been doing that some tonight. That was a tackle was made by uh, Nick uh, Yazula. Yazula. I'll make it right before the night's over with. Yet Smarkham was one running again, the big full back, and they try to dive it up the middle. It's third down and three. I think they have it middle softened up, and they try to run against it. And, and they picked up about seven or eight big yards in the two carries here. Look for the, look for the bootleg here. This I guarantee they, it. We need to make a big play. Tennessee needs to have a big play to try to get themselves back in this ball game. And once again, Tennessee jumps offside. Left uh, defensive end came with a flourish over there. For Tennessee, he was out of the pocket, running, trying to come across. And it got the first down. They did the job without running a play, folks. You know, it's Kentucky. They, they've done a lot of little things tonight that's really gave them a lot of success. First down and 10 to go on the 49-yard line, Tennessee territory. Tennessee don't. Tennessee don't need to get their head down, do they? No. Two-man eye. Quarterback under Travis Atwell. Hands off. to the reverse to the right side. He's down the right sideline. He's trucking it on down. He is shoved out of bounds on the far side. Sean Payne running. Bill, it's coming back on a clip over there. The uh, cornerback got clipped by the wideout. Yeah, he's a cut, he cut him. Went out there and cut the uh, corner. J.T. Haskins it was who ran in the football. J.T. is a 5'10", 175-pounder out of Louisville, going to Louisville College. Going to be a penalty assessed here. That's the first big penalty been assessed here against Kentucky tonight. Tennessee needs to take advantage of it to get back in this thing. Hey, what, he didn't have to really make that block. No, he didn't. He was loose before that, wasn't he? Uh, well, he he'd already broke by the guy when he blocked it. <laughs> a lot of times that happens, you know it. You block and you really didn't have to block. That happened that time. Instead of long one downfield to the 15-yard line, the ball is going to be back on Kentucky's 40, where they're going to finally put the football, on the 40-yard line where they're going to put it, and it's going to be first down and 25 yards to go for Kentucky All-Stars. Tennessee trails in this one, 24-0. Kentucky's football, we have 9.50 to play in the third period of play in the All-Star game here in, in Lexington, Kentucky. Quarterback under on the keeper play in the belly series. Kempich cuts up the field. Good running. Travis Atwell moved it to the 45. Quick feet. Quick That's feet. Right. You know, Kentucky hasn't done anything fancy all night. They've run a little reverse here, but they've gotten in the eye, and they've stayed in it and done a few bootlegs and just run the option a little bit. But they've, they've, they've stuck with fundamentals here. Then Nick got Sula made the tackle there for Tennessee that time. Second down and about 16 yards to go for Kentucky. The ball's on the own 46-yard line. Slotting to the left side is J.T. Haskins again. Look for him to run that ball again. There he's going to try to pass a little, little screen. screen pass that to the right side. He got the Great screen job. off over there. Got a block up front and trying to drive with a football number 45. And that's Jamie Alexander screen pass that to the right. That was a three-man screen, and he did some good running. I tell you what, he, uh, he had some good blocking. It was set up real well right there. I thought we was going uh, Tennessee was going to be able to make a stop behind the line of scrimmage, but uh, Corey Robinson came, missed the tackle. Just came up a little short, didn't we? That was a good job running with the ball after the catch. And that was a good call too. Yeah, it was. Through. Excellent call. 
Excellent call in a situation like that. Third down and two yards to go. The ball's on the 40-yard line into Tennessee territory. Laker right, split left in, two men eye backfield. Quarterback Atwell under there. He had a bobble of the ball, hit his own back there, and slowed him up, and coming over, putting a hammer on him for Tennessee you, was Victor, Victor McClure. McClure. What would you do if you were Kentucky here, set him fourth down and take a 24-point lead? Kick it. Uh, I think I would kick it. I wouldn't take a chance. I got, I'm got. i sitting on 24 points, and my, my who knows? Somebody some chance for momentum. In an all-star game, who knows? I agree. <laughs> Who really oh, knows? They're bringing their big, back, their big backs in. They're bringing the full back in. I believe, I, boys, I believe they, they're going to go for this they thing. In. They're going to go. You're right. They're going to go. And there's going to be a power eye. They set in there. Ian's they go to a long count here. Again, Tennessee's guys are not ready up front. Travis Atwell with it. He there ends off. First man oh, through. I believe he's short. I believe he's short. I believe he's short. Yeah, he's short. He, on this side. They stopped him right across the 40 where they knock him down. But he didn't get the first. Tennessee is going to take it over. Markham, the big fullback, who gets off off of the bottom of the pile. Number 91, Jason Whitten. He's a good-looking kid, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, is. Jason has really been the defensive standout if we've had, if Tennessee's had one tonight. He's made he's, several uh, plays. He's made yeah. four or five big plays there. First down and ten to go for Tennessee is a hell Kentucky. They went for it, folks. You know, we were talking about that before they did. <laughs> well, they just lost field position. It's the only thing. Score still 24 to nothing. Tennessee's got to put 24 points on the board. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 39-yard line in possession of Tennessee. And Shane Kelly is a quarterback now. Two men eye backfield, flanker lefts. Both ends are split. Man in motion coming toward the press box side. Quarterback keeps the ball, he, tries to cut. Uh, his knee went down when he made the cut. This is the first time Tennessee's gotten the traditional eye back here, isn't it? Shane Kelly. First time they've had two backs in the backfield. Shane Kelly cut too quick, and he blowed out a tennis shoe, and he went down. <laughs> the knee went down. <laughs> Second down and 10. He got back to the line of scrimmage. That's all he got on the 39-yard line. That's, called, that's what I call scratching off, folks, when he made that cut. Second down and 10. On the 38 of Tennessee. Tennessee trails 24 nothing. Quarterback under. Oh, fumble on the play in Kentucky. May I recall? No, no, no they got it back. back. Pulled it away from him. As number 21. Well, that was a bad handoff, folks. It was really a bad handoff. C.J. Scott never got control until he fell to the ground and had to plop on top. It gained a yard, but bumbling. I tell you, we've, we've had a tough time holding on to the ball. The, the ball was handed up too high it to probably him. was. To, couldn't get, didn't get it in his belly. Uh, we're not playing with real good fundamentals right here. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Need a playmaker here. Need a big play. We need Luke, something to happen. Luke Dunbar was in that time. At fullback, he's gone out now. Flanker left, slot right, split right in. Lone set back, rolling back. Kelly looks downfield, fires it over here. Right in the hands of 57. Did he drop it? He, yes, did. he did. He did. Almost an interception by Robert Reynolds. He's been good. He's been the defensive standout, I think, for Kentucky. You know, Gary, you brought this up earlier. This Jabbar Greer signed with Tennessee, and uh, he broke all the track records up here at uh, the Spring Fling in Tennessee's track meets. And, you know, he's on. He, he ain't touched the ball one time on offense yet. That's what I'm saying. Leon Mack is standing back on the 20-yard line. Two guys are standing back there. It looks like Jones is yet the other one. That's right. Anyhow, Cody Ridgeway is back to kick it. Gets a kick mm -hmm. away, high downfield, and it's caught. And he didn't call for a fair catch, and they downfield it down him and putting him down there. Was that Witten? That's him, number 91. Mr. Witten was downfield. There's a flag back up here on the 35-yard line. So hold the phone. What happens? Looks like it may be against Kentucky. They're going to Tennessee captains. Is it going to be a biggie or a little one? I don't know. We'll wait and see what the official says. They're talking to everybody. A penalty against. Well, we're waiting. They're pointing out and hollering across the field at the coach. The official is. What do you folks think it is? I don't know. I didn't think you roughed it unless somebody hit the kicker late. I didn't see anybody touch the kicker. I, I'm not so sure it might not be a holding against Tennessee. No. Legal not procedure. Legal procedure. They were playing it. Legal procedure. Legal procedure. Well, it's going to be Kentucky's football with 6.05 to play in the third quarter. 24 nothing. Kentucky leading. They have it back, though, in this father. They've had it back in, the, in this whole ball game, isn't it, on the 23-yard line? I believe so. I believe it's his father's start they've had to go. 
Tennessee has not generated a whole lot of out offense and been in Kentucky's territory very much here today. First and 10 for Kentucky, 23 yard line as a quarterback for Kentucky. That fish will move out of the way. I'll see if I can see his number. Shane Boyd, Boyd, thank you, sir. Shane Boyd is now (laughs) at quarterback for Kentucky All Star. Two men out of backfield, split left in, flanker right for Kentucky. Man in motion. Flanker comes in motion toward the press box side. Quarterback hands off. That's and to Haskins, and Haskins was down immediately. Good that's defense close. by Tennessee. That's Corey Robinson making the play right there. Again, that's a – Corey Robinson, he's a 6'5", 235 sign. He's going to Ole Miss. He stayed at home. He's a good-looking kid, too. Missed a tackle a few moments ago and want to make up for it that time, didn't he? Second down, 11 here for Kentucky Wild All-Stars. Start to say Wildcats. They're Wild All-Stars today. They're Wildcat All-Stars today. Yep. Running wild. Running wild. <laughs> Doing their thing. Flanker right for Kentucky. Two men eye backfield with a split left in. Boyd, the quarterback, rolling back, setting up, looking. He's going to throw it over the middle. Kick it off. Too high. Too high. He was there. The tight end was open deep down the middle. Kareem Abdul Jabbar couldn't have caught that one. He He, overthrew uh, it. He had to throw that ball a little bit quicker before he ever. He tried to overthrow him. Too much muscle on that one. Tennessee had a a defensive. Nick Dunlap was back covering the man, but. He threw it too tall for anybody to get it. I tell you what, they were in too deep coverage, which two safeties back there in the zone defense that time. He just split the middle he's, of the zone. He's just trying to split the middle. Probably the tight end probably should have pulled up a little bit and they just sat down in the hole and hit him. He's, uh, there was a big opening there in the yeah. middle of the zone. He was trying to hit it. looked like the Gerard Parker. Two-man eye backfield. Quarterback under Shane Boyd. Ends a split wide with slot left, slot right. Boyd rolls back, sets up, looks, got a look in pattern. He got his man. Got maybe got the first. It was a slant in, and he had him out there in the crease, and he caught the football. Looked like number 88 got it. Gerard Parker got the first down. down. Bill, I was talking to some of the Kentucky coaches before the ball game. They said that young man right there didn't have great speed, but he would go in the middle and catch the football. Gerard Parker you're speaking of? Yes. Uh, he's uh, 190 pounds, 6'2". He went there. He went in a slant in pattern. He, he found the crease. He found an opening. He, he can fit right in at the University of Kentucky, can he? Yes, he can. Way Mummy throws the ball around. Yeah. Jared Lorenzen is going to be their quarterback, I understand. And I saw him here in this in this tournament, in this uh, all-star game, and did a great job. Two men eye backfield with Boyd. Boyd, quick pitch, right side, reverse. Here they he comes. Got some blocking. They've he's got, got a man. Numbers. Here he comes, and he's finally knocked down. Good defensive move there by Tennessee that time to get through. Good play there for Tennessee by so I kind of get the number here. Been getting turned here. It's number 12, 12 for uh, Tennessee. That would be awesome. Awesome. Wardell awesome. Out of Oakland High School in Murfreesboro. Second down and seven yards to go for Kentucky. That reversed. Uh, it was too long. It took too long materializing. Tennessee got over and got good coverage on That's it. That's a long time to hold the block out on the corner. Yes, it is. Tennessee looked more alive on that defensive play anyhow than they have been. Two men eye backfield with a flank of left, split right in. Quarterback board under, hands off, quick opening. Ball, ball. Ball. And there's a ball. ball, and Tennessee may have it. You know, we, we need do. it. Tennessee got the ball. Who came up Number with it? 65 for Tennessee. That would be uh, Victor McClure from Saudi Daisy High School outside It'll be Chattanooga. first down. It may be a big break for Tennessee right here. First down and 10 to go. Looks like somebody put their helmet on the ball, and it come out. You just squirt it out, didn't it? First down and 10 on the 40-yard line down into Kentucky territory. Well, they need to load up here and try to score and make a big play here. Where would you go for the – a lot of coaches like to go for the big play right after a turnover. Well, it's 358 play, third quarter, Tennessee trailing 24. Let's see what nothing. happens. Got nothing to lose, have they? You know, I, I, I tried to get this ball in number one's hand somehow, one-on-one out there. Will Martin is in at quarterback right now for Tennessee. Hands off, gives right. it off. Quickly to C.J. Scott, tries to cut the corner around the left side, and C.J. got knocked down on about the 36-yard line. Picked up about four yards. Looks like it would be about a second down to six. Went off tackle and tried to veer back to the outside, and then caught him. Picked up four on the play. They're down to the 35-yard line. Tennessee ball in Kentucky territory. Deepest penetration they've had today. We need to make something happen here. 
They're trying us. to do it with a big play a few moments ago on the fumble recovered by McClure. Tennessee's offense trying to go. There he rolls back, sets in pocket, got a float it go. on the right side. Got Jabari out there trying to hit him. And he threw it a little too far, folks. He had good coverage on him. And Kentucky player got back in a hurry. That was Ray Childs back there. Did a good job at defensive back. Didn't bite, did he? No, nope. he didn't. He was going to float that one by him and going to let Jabari run by him. And Jabari has good speed, but uh, he had enough cushion there. He wasn't going to get beat deep. No. Childs did good coverage there. He, he kept his poise. And when did you're up 24 to nothing, you can play a little deeper than that. Yeah. Third down about seven. Third down and six. Ball on the 36 of Kentucky. Tennessee wanting a big play here. Will Martin, the quarterback under there. Will looks. Will rolls out of the pocket. Looks downfield. Got his man open there momentarily. Threw behind him, and he tried to throw. Did he get it? Yeah, they say no, he trapped it. He trapped it. Coming up with it, he, he tried to make a good move for it. was Neil Warren, but uh, they say he trapped the ball. Well, we've gone from second and five, and basically five and a half yards to I fourth thought, and five and a half. I thought we should have turned should have tucked that ball out there and tried to get as much of that as we could get close to that first down mark and maybe have a shot going for it on fourth down. May have been right. He had some yards yep. ahead of he him. He did. Tried to force it in there, rolling left, tried to force it downfield and, and uh, underthrew his And it didn't get any power on it at all. No, it didn't. No, when you roll left like that and throw, right hander is hard, very hard to do. Very hard. You better be pretty doggone strong arm. Quarterback is a, in a shotgun this time. Man in motion for Tennessee. Here Rolls got back. He's got a screen. screen. He's trying to set a screen. And he throws it to the man he completed, but he's I don't believe he got the first down. He's going to be short. Yeah. He's going to be short about He had to juggle it. He'd had the first down probably. Guess who's over there? Mr. Childs. Did they have the screen set up there? You know, it looked like he's trying well, to run it back underneath. He was trying to throw underneath. He was, trying, he, he was looking for a screen. I think they probably had a screen call. I really do because, boy, four, four defensive linemen was coming after him like gangbusters. <laughs> Either that we didn't block very well. <laughs> yeah. And one of the two, it didn't. It never materialized, whatever. It's first down and 10 to go for Kentucky as they have the football with 248 to play third quarter. Kentucky leading 24 to nothing. Two men eye backfield, flanker right, split left in Kentucky. We've got Referee missing a linebacker. Good. We're missing one. Missing a linebacker. Somebody. You know, that's the second time that's happened today. Isn't it? we got a timeout, too, I think, coming out on the field with a water bucket. While they got this timeout, uh, I don't believe we've heard from these fine people here today. Steve Marsh Ford, we're part of America's newest tire store. We carry all major brand tires at the most competitive prices. For all your car and truck needs, come to Steve Marsh Ford of Milan, where price sells cars and service keeps customers. And we're right here at the at the old ballpark at the Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky. And fellas, uh, what is I think uh, right now we'll go over to you for just a moment. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, they, uh, looks like that uh, <laughs> Tennessee's finally got their replacement woes corrected. Uh, we're fixing to play here. You know, again, that's, that's been typical of Tennessee this uh, this evening. They've uh, they've had trouble getting people on and off the field. They've been in the right place at the right yeah. time. They've just uh, they've just been completely out of sync. Travis Atwell is back out there at quarterback for Kentucky with a two man eye. Atwell under looks over that full man front mm. big pitch fake up the middle cutting to the right south side running the football cutting back against the grain was a Kentucky number 45 and that was Jamie Alexander that was Wesley Holmes uh, on the hit out of a uh, Pearl Cone High School that's uh, out of Nashville boy they put out some good ones hadn't they they did they uh, we had it contained and he cut back and picked up the yardage Joe Cahuni, the 250 pound 6 foot 4 tight end coming in for the Kentucky All-Stars right now. Get a little power in there. J.T. Haskins is split out wide to the left side with the two-man out backfield. There's a quick handoff, quick dive play up the middle, spinning and running and churning with a football. Kentucky player, I couldn't pick his number up. He had his head down, and Tennessee was caving in on him. That's uh, number um, 46. Yeah, I believe so. That's who it is, Scott Blair. Gain of three on the play makes it now third down and about four. 142 to play. Boy, this third quarter has really moved in a hurry, has it not? It's not gone. A, not a lot of passion in it. No. Nope. 
been running the old pigskin. Staying in the ball game for Kentucky is Joe Cahooney. Third down and four. They may try to draw Tennessee off sides here. Well, they, they, they've been successful with it twice today. And they're going to take a time before they do that. While they're taking that time, let's us take a 60-second local break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. at Commonwealth Stadium, Lexington, Kentucky. It's third down and three yards to go for Kentucky. The ball's on the 38-yard line. Quarterback rolling back. He keep on the keeper play, rolling left, looking, start looking downfield, trying to go, and he got blocked, in the, but I don't believe he got the first down. That was a long rollout. A lot of long running that time, Gary, for not much gain. I'll tell you what, he's going to be right close at it now. It's going to be just a little short, looks like. As a Tennessee play, that was Witten again, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah made the play. Witten. Witten playing a heck of a defensive end. They're going to take a measurement here. Going to be that close. I didn't think he got that close, but evidently he did. Going to measure here. 109 to play third quarter. Kentucky leading Tennessee 24 to nothing here in Lexington, Kentucky. Next Friday night will be at Thompson Bowling Arena with the East-West Shrine All-Star Game for many of the Tennessee stations along the network. I believe it's listening chain broke. Short. <laughs> they were stretching the chain here. Chain broke on them. <laughs> really? Yeah, they're going to retie it now. Oh, me, it may be tied. Uh, maybe get two knots or one knot. Who knows? If he gets it by a link. <laughs> boy, we call it home cooking, wouldn't we? <laughs> and he gets it by a link. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> that's the first time I have ever seen that. I used to fish eight for about eight or nine years, and, Used to work head line when I had to break the chains in. I, Got I the never, wire cutter out, didn't I? I never, <laughs> I never broke a chain. That's the first time I've ever seen it. Have you ever seen that? No. Yeah, I have. Matter of fact, we've had a chain to break before. Uh-oh, I bet y'all got fussed at. Well, Not too bad. That don't surprise me. <laughs> first down and 10 to go. The ball on the 42-yard line of Kentucky. And Kentucky's ball with 54 seconds to play in the third period of play. Two men eye, flank a right. Quarterback mm. straight, die, play straight ahead for Adwell. Boy's keeping the clock running. In. That that was first sound. He come yeah. up. That was first sound. That's what a lot of them call goose. They won't even make anything. He'll just punch the center underneath the hind and end and ball in your up and running. And your line are looking down at the ball. Yeah, they're going right. to move with the ball. Just a goose call. And they're not going to be offside because they don't know what it is. That's exactly right. That was a goose. Got a new quarterback in the game for Kentucky. Going to be Shane Boyd. That's right. Is back in. Second down, eight yards to go. They, yeah, they're keeping the clock running. Kentucky is. They're using their head right now. They, they, I, well, I think they've called. Uh, they, they've run some good plays here today. You're not. They're no. We won't even get into this. Uh, we won't have another play right here. I believe they're going to let the clock run. Yeah, out. they are. At the right time. Get ready. We have to end the three quarters of play with a score: Kentucky 24, Tennessee nothing. Let's just take a 60-second local break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network.
back here at Lexington, Kentucky, Commonwealth Stadium with a big, humongous crowd across the way for this all-star game. And they've seen Kentucky just kind of demolish Tennessee here today at uh, Commonwealth Stadium here with three quarters of play. Tennessee trailing 24-0, and it's Kentucky's football. Second down and eight. The ball is on the 45-yard line of Kentucky. Two-man eye, flanker left, split right in. Quarterback is Boyd under, rolling back, setting up, getting the rush, got a screen set up. He got the screen, got it out to his man. He got a good move, got a good block on the corner, zigging and zagging and stepped out of bounds and catching that screen pass was Jamie Alexander. That baby's worked pretty good today. Yes, it has. Well, Tennessee's been rushing up field pretty hard. Of course, that, that sets the screen up pretty good. You're exactly right. 11.52 to play, and he got the first down. That was a... <coughs> They made the plays. They made the calls of the right plays at the right time, Steve. They have. They have. And their kids have executed well. Down the 43-yard line, down into Tennessee territory. Ian split up wide left, flanker right, two men out backfield, quarterback under there. Oh, they got him, got him by the leg that time and crashing down the line. Was that 65 that for was. Tennessee? It was. Victor McClure again. He's made some pretty big plays, too. Tennessee's defense. played a lot better defense this second half. Yeah, they have. They just haven't been able to do anything with their offense. That's exactly right. Swapping quarterbacks. Second down and 10 to go. And coming back in is Travis Atwell, the 6'2", 190 quarterback, going to the University of Toledo. He's out of Hancock County High School. His coach was Mark Peach. I believe it's Shane Boyd come in. Uh, Atwell's in the previous play. Yeah, this is It this. is, Boyd. Yeah, Boyd. Well, Boyd was in their previous this play. This is the set you're talking about, the unbalanced set. It's another little screen to the right side, little flare, little pattern on the sideline, and just says uh, it's just uh, I don't know where he got any point. It didn't get any yards out of it at all. It was a quick screen, a kick yeah. screen, so they could, uh, try to get some yardage there. Bottom line is you try to get that ball in the hands of a boy to make a play. And Tennessee yeah. covered it well that time. They did. Give credit where credit is due. And that time Tennessee's defense did a good job. Third down and nine yards to go for Kentucky. The ball is on the 44-yard line of Tennessee. Boyd, quarterback, rolling back, sets up, looks downfield, got a man over the middle and threw a little bit behind him. Couldn't handle it. He should have caught it. That's he did his one. hands. I agree with you. Covering there was Barton Simmons. He'll tell you the same thing. Yep. Ducky punting here. Anytime you get your hands on the football a, a receiver, he, he ought to catch it. Or he shouldn't be a receiver. Going to be fourth down and about nine yards to go. They're going to roll back, and I guess they'll punch this thing. We, we're not going to assume anything. <laughs> I got a feeling they're going to, I've got a feeling they'll punt this one away. Yeah. And back to punt will be Colin Barber. He's really put him in the air today. He gets a snap, gets a kick away. Wobbly he kick it. this time. He shanked, shanked that baby. I he mean, sure did. That's going to hurt his average, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I'll tell you now, we, uh, this 91, the uh, kid from uh, Jason Witten. He's, he put a lot of pressure on the punt. He's had a good ball game. It was a three-yard punt, fellas. Defensively, I think Mr. Whitman has done probably the best defensive job of any player today for, for Tennessee. Well, sitting here watching, I've seen him. Uh, I've seen him put a lot of pressure, and I've seen him keep playing full, you no know, full, a lot of force. Yep, yep. First down and ten to go for Tennessee on the 41-yard line. So, boy, that really hurt his average a heap, heat right there. <laughs> Had a 41 and a half yard average in the first half. That should have been the one that he should have gone for. And got trips to the right side with split left end. Everybody split out there this time. Quarterback waiting, rolling back, setting up, looking. He's going to try to run it up the middle. Got loose for one. It goes the other way. Spins away from a man and running that football was Will Martin. Will runs it across the 40 down into Kentucky territory. That believe, was a good job. I believe that's what you call an, an athlete, isn't it? That's an athlete. It was an ad play. play. Everybody flaked out, it, uh, pulled out, it had a spread all over the field. The right defensive end from Kentucky didn't get touched, and he flushed him, and when he flushed him, he made the run. <laughs> he's, wanting to throw, he's wanting to throw the ball. He's probably going to get hit. First down, 10 to go. It's on the 37-and-a-half-yard line of Kentucky. Ball in possession of Tennessee, and they trail 24 nothing. Want to get something on the board to save a little face here. Long setback. And the shotgun back there rolling. Mark got him in the hole. Going to run right, looking. And he got throws it. it, hit his man. Good <laughs> catch downfield. How about that, folks? Oh, oh chip drill work there, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. That's, a, that's Jason Wolf making the catch out of Seymour County, isn't it? That's, that's who right. it is. Number eight. 
got it down the 21 yard line. He had two men in the in the receiving area. He had one up here. I thought he was going to try to throw to, and he threw down. He had pretty good coverage. Well, he had the boy tipped it. And he just came back and got the ball. Jason Wolf caught it for the first down. Moves it 21 yard line. First down and 10 to go here for Tennessee. They've come alive here. Their fourth quarter. Tennessee's confused with their formation. Oh, they are now. Ten Everybody, seconds, you've got time. Seconds. You've got time. Don't panic. And we got the this ball. Is the quarterback draw. And they, he, oh, boy, they He's not down. Oh, he got away at the line of scrimmage, and he kept spinning, got two extra yards after they trapped him at, had him at the line of scrimmage. Tackle made by number 52 for Kentucky. That would be Mike Taylor, defensive tackle. Will Martin was carried it. Will now has really got to act together here. New quarterback in for Tennessee. It's going to be brother Shane Kelly. Shane Kelly. Shane is back in a shotgun. Trips to the left side. Flanker right, or split right in, that is. Back Kelly. Going to run it up the middle. Going to ad lib a little bit. Tries to go. Comes back against Grant. Oh, nothing good. Nothing doing. He barely got the line of scrimmage. They had that one all the way, folks. Well, I'll tell you what, he, he wanted to run too quick. He didn't take a chance to look to see if anything was going to develop. He didn't let everything go for him. He was trying to make it happen. He didn't it didn't let it happen. Didn't real we, smooth, did it? We're getting those jumpy feet. Yep. Itchy feet. Third down and about eight yards to go. They say seven, but it's a long seven if it's that. We've got two plays right here. We don't have to get everything in one play. Let's see what they do with it. Lone set back is Kelly. Rolls back, sets up, looks for a man to throw to. He's plush him out of the Got pocket, going to run right. Now he's going to try to throw. He spins away again. Now he runs Got to the right him. side. He's not Got looking. He's going to try to run it. He moves it down the 14-yard line. He couldn't see the man in the end zone. We could sit up there and see him, but he couldn't. They there knock again, him down. He's got a sh short quarterback. He can't see them field. I mean, there's nothing. he's not the type of pocket pass. No, he's not. Well, he kept spinning away, spinning away, and they had him trapped two times back there, and his escapability allowed him to do what he did. He's a scrambler, but there again, the big uh, big tackles were coming at him, and well, we saw an opening down here, but he couldn't see it. I think they've uh, you know, they've had a little success running the ball right here, and uh, you know, and they're getting a little quick about running still, just looking for an open guy, too. Fourth down, and first time four yards to go here for the first down. We've got the crowd in this thing, haven't we? With Come the on. ball running right side, he got, got the first. He got I the first. Got it. Will Martin running to the right side. On the option. Got it. <laughs> Step back. He did it. There again, the quarterbacks have really led these charges. Yeah. Folks. The two quarterbacks have done the job in this one, and they're hitting right off tackle and veering to the outside. Got the first down. Big play for Tennessee at this point in the game. You know, this is the first time that I've seen Kentucky's defense look a little tired on the field. They are right now. Tennessee's still coming at them now, first down and 10. Looks a little late, though. Maybe too little, too late with 7.48 to play in the ball well, game. Kentucky leading 24 0. If Tennessee happens to score, they got to go for two. They got to score three times and go for two. On the 11 yard line, first down and 10 for Tennessee. Slot to the right side, lone setback. What about Grohling? Hands off, first man through, die play. Got about the yard, and I mean, if he got that, boy, they caved in there. Defensive front was really doing their job for Kentucky. Tackle made there by number 79 for Kentucky. He kind of led the charge. Phil Metling, the defensive tackle, 6'3", 250 from St. Xavier High School, signed with Boston College. Second down, nine yards to go. Ball down on the nine-yard line, nine-and-a-half-yard line of Kentucky. Tennessee wants to keep this drive alive with 7.05 to play in the football game. I'm like, yeah, we need touchdowns. We don't need to be sitting back here looking for field goals. Will Martin, the quarterback under, flanker right, slot to the left side. Martin rolling second, first man through, get yeah, hands it back. off. He hit the hole, but, boy, it closed in a hurry. He got through the first hole, the line of scrimmage, but the secondary came up and did a job for Kentucky. Running a little draw with Leonard Burris right there, aren't we? Did that. He got through the first wave, but he couldn't get that because that secondary was really really coming on top of him. Not big enough to break the tackle there. Not a big back. He's not a very big guy. Third down and about six yards to go here for Tennessee. The ball is down on the seven-yard line or six-yard line into Kentucky territory. This drive started where? Back on the 40? Back on Tennessee? Yeah, back on Tennessee's 40. Slot left, quarterback Got a shotgun. Screen, trying to run a screen. He throws it over there. Couldn't handle it. Good coverage over there, but it hit. It looked like it hit his hand. It looked like somebody touched it over there, though, before it got to the receiver. 
Ray Childs, the 6'1", 195 corner from uh, Nelson County High School, signing with Louisville, separated him. He's been responsible for three breakups today in that secondary. Well, four Big play six. here. I think Tennessee will go for the first down oh. or touchdown. Oh, they got to go. Hey, they got to go now. They they down they down twenty four points six oh four. They don't have much. Three has a choice. Does three's it? not going to have that play selection there. I don't know. Make you wonder, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. that wasn't a play. I don't think they really wanted to run there. Two man I the uh, two man backfield split back. Well, they, they got the shotgun back there. Man in motion. As Will Martin has got, got a run right, he's got a man in front of him. Got a block. He may go. Close. Did he get in? No, he, get no, he in? didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He's short, too. Stopped at the two-yard line, a yard short. He's Ooh, short. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. He made a gallon effort. He had a blocker on the right side. The tackle was downfield blocking for I him. I thought he had a shot. I that thought was, he did, too. I, I thought he was a man tackle on that play. It was number 76, Jeremy Cottle from uh, Preston High School. Uh, I thought he was going to stick it in, folks. He did. He signed up. He's the one that separated him there. Who was that? Jeremy Cottle, number 76. Big defensive tackle. Mm -hmm. 5.53 to play in the ball game, and they hold Tennessee on the two-yard line. Big play. Took the air, I think, out of, maybe out of Tennessee there. And really put some air in the Kentucky fans across the way, and the Kentucky players. Well, I don't believe you'll see the ball in the air. In the air at all. I would think you may be right. Shane Boyd is a quarterback. That'd be Two men out backfield. Shane under center. Looks it over. Takes. Penetration. Mm, boy, that's close to a safety. Ooh, it may that's be. That's close to a safety. Did he get out of the end zone? He, if he did, it barely. I was off and close to a safety. I don't see a, I don't see a signal yet. No, it's on the one-foot line. Oh, boy. Man. Oh, boy. Ooh, that's close. They're talking to the official. Official says he got to the one-foot line. That's I, believe mighty, it, I think it's a pretty good call there. That's mighty, mighty close. Yes, it, it is. is. It was borderline, but... <laughs> I don't know if I wouldn't go back to this goose call we tried to talk yeah. about earlier. <laughs> Just give me a little push. And give me a yard push. there. Let me kick it out of here. Yeah. Second down, 11 yards to go. The ball is close to the goal line to be without touching goal line. That's where it is right now. They're going to come right now up the gut. Split right in. Two men eye backfield. Quarterback void under there. Looks it over. There's a man, the linebacker, sitting in the gap. They give it to the first man through, and he dies for about two or three yards on the play. Tennessee trying to strip him in the football, but can't do it. The tailback does a great job of holding on to the football. He was holding on for dear life, was he not? And he gets him a little room there. And now is that Witten? That was Witten. That underneath the bottom of all of this. I'm telling he's a he's had a super second half. Jason Witten, we're talking about 6'7", 270, going to Tennessee out of Elizabethan High School. Fine looking athlete there. Got a brother, Sean Witten, playing some college ball, either at Virginia or else. At Tennessee, we know not where right now. Quarterback Boyd. Sticky territory back there, rolling back. He's going to throw the football. Oh, oh boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, that, that surprises me there. That's the 30 54 right there for Tennessee. <laughs> Wesley Holmes. He almost, had, he almost had, had him six. Points. He almost had him six. Why would you throw the ball right there? I do not know. That surprised me. Holmes, it didn't surprise Holmes because Holmes was looking for it. And Holmes had a pair of hands yeah. in and walked in. He'd have walked in. He, he was on the four-yard line. He threw a little flare pattern out there, and Holmes just stepped in there, and he had it on his hand. He could smell that end zone. You go return or you go for a block here? Well, I'd go for I'd, – I'd just say, the guys, get what you can back here, return the ball, but I'd go for a block. I think you got to try to get the I, points as quick as you can. I think they got to return on the way they're lining up, though. Man standing back deep, going to get the kick away. He gets it away. He's got a shot. He's got a shot at running this one, guys. Oh, he fell the ball, and it hit the hands and fell away from Tennessee and Kentucky. He's down feeling it covered that sucker. Hit Jabari Greer in the arms. He couldn't handle it, and it's, it went away from him and down on the field, and Kentucky got down the field and covered the football. Well, that's the way the game's going all night, so it's just justifiable that it end this way. It's typical, isn't it? <laughs> First down, 10 to go. Ball on 39-yard line. Still in possession of Kentucky with 4.04 to play in the ballgame. He had a chance to return that one, Steve. He did. It was a low ball. He had a chance to get a hold of it, make a cut, and maybe bounce that thing to the outside. Just can't, you got to hold on to it. Ooh, boy. Atwell is back in that quarterback for Kentucky right now with a two-man eye. Atwell, belly series, gives a quick pace to the outside man. Alexander coming over, making a good lick from the cornerback came up in a hurry for Tennessee. 
You know, Kentucky started with this uh, Brandon Hayes at tailback, which signed with Arkansas. You know, and they've really gone with this Scott Blair here and host about the whole entire second half. Y'all see that corner over there? It came over and made that stop. He really, he, he didn't even lick. He come up in a hurry. Who Number that, seven. 25, isn't it? Who is it? Seven? Looked like Shaka Shock Hill. Hill. Shaka Hill. Signed with the University of Memphis. Yeah, that's who it was. Two men out of backfield, split left in. Quarterback under Atwell for Kentucky. Atwell There's takes. Counter. counter play coming right. Ball, ball, ball. Oh, no. Run with it. Score with it. Picks it up. Let's see if we can score with it. Tennessee coming down the left side with the ball. He's going to go in for the TD. The ball was rolling on the ground. Who got it? Barton Simmons. Barton Simmons had scooped up the fumble, went all the way. How many yards was that, folks, where he uh, scooped it up? We're sitting here. We're almost about, about 45 50, about yards. A 50, about a 50-yard run, 45 was, yard, about a 45-yard yard run. run. He scooped it on the 45. Was that where he got it? I, I think so. that's right. And he went in. Barton Simmons, who's also played some pretty good ball for Tennessee today, just scored for Tennessee with 3.05 to play on a recovered fumble. And he had an escort when he got in. Yes, he did. You know, Tennessee hasn't played really poorly on defense. They've the offense really haven't given them a shot. No, I think you're defense right. Defense has been pretty – you're right. Is defense it, played pretty good. They, they're just bad. 24-6 to six now. Tennessee going to go for two nationally. Trying to get as many points on there as they possibly can. They line up for the extra point. Going for two. Referee yeah, blows his whistle. Up. What's he What's he blowing his whistle for? Nice time to shoot. And we're in. Here we go. Don't be, is that Will Martin quarterback in there there? That's I right. believe it is. Will's under. The man Jabari comes in motion. Will rolling back, setting up, looking. Pass. He's going to throw it left back against the crane and knocked it down to the line of scrimmage. Big fella comes in with his hands up. Number 81 for Kentucky. He got his hands up, and Ed Robinson knocked it down. Yeah. Defensive line. Good. Okay. The score is 24-6, Tennessee Trail, 305 to play. Let's take a 30-second local break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. Back here in Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky, at Commonwealth Stadium, and Tennessee got on the boards with the fumble recovery by Barton Simmons and took it in for 45 yards out. And Tennessee trails 24 to six, and this one 305 to play in this All-Star contest. Kentucky's got its good hands team in, expecting the onside kick here. You know, I think Kentucky's just about everybody they've had it tonight had good hands, don't you know? I mean, they haven't they haven't coughed that baby up. That was the only fumble that they really had tonight, I think. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I've, I've been surprised at the talent level at Kentucky. You know, most people, about like Gary, most people think of Kentucky and think of basketball, but they've got a fine football team up here right now. They certainly are that. Here's the onside kick, and it's fumbled around and finally covered there by number 16 at Kentucky, and he fell on top of it, J.T. Haskins. That, that for an onside kick was kicked too far. It was, uh, but most of your kids there are probably not on kickoff teams. A lot of them aren't. And I didn't see a lot of effort there to cover it either. Did you, Steve? No. No, we, nobody come off the line, did he? First down and 10 to go on the 41-yard line. Kentucky's football in Kentucky territory. Kentucky leading 24-6. to six. I think Kentucky will keep it on the ground still. I'm not going to make that statement anymore. <laughs> yeah. Almost had it on a two-yard line that a few moments ago. Two-man eye with a slot left, split left in. As Kentucky, oh, somebody might have jumped, Whoa. and they did. That's not a late hit. That's no. not a late hit. Shane Boyd had the ball, but I believe a Tennessee player jumped, or maybe they moved. I don't know. We'll wait and see as they sort it out. What do you think, fellas? Yeah, it could be your tackle move. That's why he was in there. Defensive tackle may have. I bet you got an illegal procedure. Guard, yeah. Left guard must have moved in. Yep. But you're right, defense tackle came. <laughs> I, I thought something had happened on the Kentucky side, but I, if everything was happening there in the middle, I couldn't tell which one was Kentucky. Five-yard penalty, be second, first down and 15 yards to go. The ball on the 37-yard line of Kentucky, 24 to six. How about Jumbo trying? They got this. 
got the TV over in the stands, the kids are waving over in the stands across the way, and a good crowd in there. Flanker left, split right in here for Kentucky. Quarterback Boyd under. Rolling back, set down. Well, he gets the right. Right. screen. Another Boy, screen. Good at the screen, aren't they? To Alexander. Well, that's he's, great. He's got a good block. Good play by Scott Blair it was that time. Scott Blair, good screen right side. It was a three-man screen. I tell you what, the Simmons uh, kid probably saved another touchdown there. Uh, he did. I, you know, this, this this Scott Blair, he's coming here. He don't have just great speed. But he's got great eyes. You know, he sees a yeah. hole and able to cut off a block and make good things happen. Make, he was following his block yes, as well. He, he's, he's got a, good feet. Yes, so he does. Good. He's first, very impressive. First down, 10 to go on the 41-yard line down in Tennessee territory. That screen has really worked for Kentucky today. When you're 6'2", 198, you can make a lot of things happen, can't you? <laughs> yeah. J.T. Haskins split to the left. Boyd, the quarterback under. Looks over at the full man in front. Quick handoff up the middle. Wanted he got about two, and that's about it. He's in the grasp of a linebacker and a tackle. It's kind of hard, hard to tell who's making the plays now, guys. Yeah, it is. It's kind of bunching up. And uh, that's what they want to do, just, just hold on the ball. That was Joe Cooney. Looks like a timeout for Tennessee. And while we got the timeout, second down and nine yards to go. The ball is on the 40-yard line down in Tennessee territory. Let's just take a 60-second local break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. Set to go with more football action here in Lexington, Kentucky. And with it uh, leading up there will be Shane Boyd, the quarterback leading with a second down and nine. Shane's going to fake a throw. Now he's going to throw deep. He's got a man coming down field, and they go back with him. He threw it over everybody's head. He had a uh, fly pattern down the right sideline, and he was gone to the end zone, baby. But if he had, but Tennessee had good coverage on him. Like I said, I'm not going to say they won't throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, we're in the state of Kentucky. I don't think that's probably, that's probably a bad statement I made. <laughs> I tell you what, J.T. Haskins was really legging it down that sideline, and that was good coverage downfield on the corner can, for Tennessee that time. That little Haskins kid, he can move it, can he? Yeah, he can. He's been, he's been doing that uh, several times tonight. I'm and surprised the Kentucky let Louisville get in there and get him. I agree. That was uh, Wardell Alsop who was over there that time at cornerback out of Oakland High School in Murfreesboro. Quarterback Shane Boyd. Boyd rolling back, sets in the pocket, being right. He hands off, but before he got to him, it was a good fake, but he didn't fool the guy up the middle for Tennessee. I think that's a good call, though, even though they didn't execute it real well. I think that's a real good call. At a time like that, you know Tennessee's coming. That's why those screen yeah. passes are working so well. They know they're coming. Fourth down, about 12 yards to go for Kentucky with 2.24 to play in this ball game. 24-6, Kentucky leading Tennessee. Tennessee has been dominant in this series. It's 13 and three. Tennessee winning 13 is going to be, uh, it's going to be 13, 13 and, four. and four after this one tonight. It's that last one they always remember, though. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> it's that last game you play in high school that they always don't remember what you did with a maybe an eight and two record. Remember that last one you lost? That's didn't right. <laughs> yeah, well, everybody's going to lose that last one except the state champion, right? That's right. <laughs> so everybody's going to have a lot of people going to have bad memories. Right? That's the one they remember. Unfortunately, you're right. Do all that great coaching during the season, but they remember the last one. <laughs> they want the job come Saturday. It's the Bill Hayden, Gary Wilkes, and Steve Lindsay bringing the action here tonight from Kentucky. Going to go back to punt it. I'm not, I'm not going to say they're going to punt it. <laughs> Colin, Colin Bar Barber. Oh, These guys like to do anything. But I guess he'll punt it this time, don't you? I've got a feeling he will we'll see it come off his foot. He gets a snap. Gets a kick. I got it blocked. He gets a rush. Got it off. Going to fall out of go out of bounds. I'll see where they're going to line it up. Looks like it may be close to the. Barber's punt. 
But he's walking it back up, and he says it's going to be on the 20. At the 18. 18, he says. First down and 10 yards to go for Tennessee on their own 18-yard line. Tennessee trying to maybe help to get some more on the board if they can. They're out of timeouts, 2 minutes, 17 seconds to go in the ball game. No timeouts left for either one, is that no, right? No, timeouts for Tennessee. Tennessee. For Tennessee? Uh, Kentucky's got two left. That's right. I don't think you'll see them using it. No, I wouldn't think so. They want that old clock to run right now. <laughs> I hope they don't. We hit a shotgun formation here at Tennessee. Man in motion. Here oh! Goes a screen. Here goes a little screen. And he got, he got the screen off. Too. Yes, he did. And he knocked out of bounds on about the 24-yard line or 23-yard line. That was a screen pass over to Antonio Carter. Had a two-man screen out there. Gain six or gain more than that. It's really gain seven. Second down and three. Second and three here for Tennessee. Look at a job getting her snaps from her center to her quarterbacks. That is uh, the middle. He threw it the wrong man. He had a man over trying to get Jabari down the sideline, but the man was open was number 10 over the he middle. He sure was. I agree Antonio with. Carter. He well, had some grass too, didn't he? Nobody around him. He had some grass to run with it. Yep. Makes it third down and five. The third down and four. Tell you what, just trying. He's trying. The quarterback's trying to make something happen. Yeah, he wants to get it to anybody yeah. who can. Who can? Jabari would have been the man had to get him down the field like that. That was a little. Mm. Uh, Tell you, that's a good play defensively right there. Who's that? Seventy-five. That's yeah. Right. Hit him on the twenty. That's, that's Justin right. Richards, isn't it? Yeah. That's well, right. what he did. What he did. It was a delay. He was a, and, and he was trying to get him up the middle real quick and scoot him by him, but that line just come in and tackled everything. Mm. Well, your clock's gonna run here. And that's what Kentucky wants with 143 to play in the ball game. Makes it fourth down, eight yards to go. Tennessee says, what the heck? Let's go for it. They do. There's, well, he got him in the ball, middle. Fires got him over. Him. He's got him. out there. Mm. Good defensive play. Kentucky uh, plows in a hurry. That's uh, Guess who that is, guys? Childs. That's him. Childs. Uh, tell you what, Ray Childs has had a fine ball game. That's four times he's done that tonight. He's well, got a hand on the ball. He's the another court. player going to Louisville. Yes, Louisville's is. got some good-looking athletes tonight. That kid covered well. He's covered four times tonight. He's kept that pass and being completed. Good this, job. This big defense man, Ed Robinson, uh, 6'4", 225 from Fairdale High School, is going to Louisville. You know, in the last probably 10 to 12 years, Louisville has come up with some good ball clubs. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Tennessee territory ball in possession of Kentucky. Well, is you going to see the knee right here? I would think so. Travis that well. Kentucky's got it one. You've got a knee. Yeah, they sit there for where they're going to get the knee. No timeouts left. Atwell is going to take a knee. That's going to be it. And it's 123 to play in the bogey. Kentucky leads it 24 to 6 over Tennessee. Folks, that may be all she wrote for Tennessee here. I, I don't believe think the we're clock will run. Shot. Yeah. Boys, I, bl I believe the Kentucky coach is going to get ready for a good drink of water from the way it looks down here. Has somebody sneaking up behind him? I believe the, the guys are trying to get the Gatorade jug. Well, yeah, there they go. He's going to remember, he's gonna remember <laughs> this because the coach is retiring. That's what they say. There yeah. he goes, guys. Yeah. Got him. Josh Jaggers at number 62 just uh, dumped him pretty good. <laughs> Joe Rudell from Tate's Creek High School is retiring. He's retired after last season. This is his last high school game. In Kentucky's coaches over there, Joe Rudell is in the job tonight. And John Nasta, Herb McDowell, Mark Willoughby, Donald Smith, Craig Lecter, and Scott Carmody. Kentucky leading 24 to 6. Folks, that's the way it's going to be. It's 32 seconds left on the game clock in this All Star game in this year 2000. All-Star game is going to be history in a moment as soon as he takes his knee. This is your last play. It is. And we'll get ready real quickly for you. We'll give you a two-minute local break, and then we he takes another knee, and that's going to be all she wrote, and Kentucky's going to celebrate. They're letting it go, folks. It is now a final score. Kentucky 24, Tennessee 6. Final score here in the All-Star game in Lexington, Kentucky at Commonwealth Stadium. We'll take a two-minute break. When we come back, we'll have Steve and Gary have tell us all about what happened in this ballgame. A two-minute break on the Tennessee Sports Radio Network. That won't take
back here at Commonwealth Stadium in Lexington, Kentucky. Steve Lindsay and Gary Wilson are going to tell us what happened in this ball game. Tennessee lost it 24 to 6. And fellas, your opinions. I feel like that Kentucky just flat out played Tennessee. They didn't make as many errors. Uh, they played fundamental football. They kept their composers throughout the ball game. We talked about that in the first half. And when you take care of the football and do the little things, most of the time, you're going to come out with a victory. And uh, Kentucky needs to be uh, commended on their football team. They've got a lot of talent, in, and uh, you're going to see these guys uh, come Saturday next year, some of them play. And uh, they, they did a fine job tonight. I think quite possible we may, may see some of these players in the NFL down the road somewhere because some of these kids can really play the game. Well, I tell you what, Tennessee come out flat, played flat most of the game, uh, didn't execute, made a lot of mistakes. I don't know it sounds like I'm being critical, but that's just the facts, and that's the way we played. And the better team, I think, won tonight. And that's pretty much it, Bill. And 24-6, uh, Tennessee got on the boards in the fourth quarter, picking up a fumble and running 45 yards. And, and that was the only score in Tennessee had, 24-6 in this ball game tonight. That's going to wrap it up and do it to it. I want to thank you guys. Steve Lindsay, coach at Lexington High School, and Gary Wilson for helping in the broadcast. I want to thank our fine stations and all our fine local sponsors, WBFG FM in Lexington, 96.5, and WTKB FM in Mallard, 93.7.